Yo, listen, yo, what's good? Hi, everybody. It's uh, it's your boy Marco Toto. Back at it again. Another uh, another fine and wonderful Uchi Koshi Sunday after having a weekend absence last week. Um, welcome, welcome, welcome. I've got my my tea with me. Sorry, we started a little bit late. Um, I was getting everything up and ready uh, for uh, some really, really fucking cool announcements. Um, hi, everybody. There I am. Um, oh, man. We've got some fucking real awesome, really, really cool announcements that we're going to be talking about um, in the like next like couple of minutes or so. Before I do that, though, uh, how are you guys? How are you guys doing? It's Sunday. I know every Californian right now is is uh, spinning around a little bit. I think they're all um, they're all a little afraid of what's been happening, which is uh, totally understandable because uh, that shit is fucking scary. That shit is uh, absolutely terrifying. Um, I'm almost done playing ZTD. What a game that is. Oh, man. I was going to upload the last ZTD VOD, but unfortunately, I, I kind of lost track of time. Um, especially yesterday. Yesterday, I, I went out and um, I got my hair cut for the first time in, like, four years. Uh, my hair was, like, so fucking long. Like, seriously, it is so, so long. Um, and, um, I said to myself, well, I'm, I'm kind of, not that I'm sick of having the, uh, the long hair. I like having long hair. I really, really, really enjoyed it because it sort of gave me a little, a little, a little gender euphoria, just a little bit. Um, but I would wear my sling bag. I would wear my, my EDC, my everyday carry. And I would get really, really annoyed anytime I put it on and I had to like shift it from side to side um, to get stuff from the front. Uh, and it would get caught in my hair. Um, and it's like that on top of the fact that like, it's like really, really hot right now. Um, it's like really, uh, it's a little, it's a little difficult to deal with uh, during the summertime. So I decided to uh, to give it a cut, um, which I'm I'm a little sad because I I've been growing that out for about four years. I, like I had it pretty fucking long, um, and now it's like it's like higher. Uh, actually, you know what? What you see on the screen is about the real length of the hair right now. It is pretty awesome. Uh, Shar and I were at, uh, downtown yesterday, and, uh, she took a picture of me as we were doing some, we were, we were doing some, uh, UFO catchers. Also, thank you! Oh my god! <laughs> Crawl space catnaps! Oh my god! Thank you for the hundred dollars! What the fuck? Thank you very, very, very much! I, uh, I really appreciate that. Thank you so much! Dear god! <laughs> That is, that is an insane amount of money. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Holy shit. Um, this song's too sad. I don't, I don't want to listen to that. Um, seriously, that is, that is incredibly generous. And, and it brings us ever closer to our, to our goal of playing Spore. Very, very, very exciting stuff. Thank you. Thank you so much. Um, so my, my hair... It's so funny because Shar yesterday we were, we were we were playing some some UFO catchers at like some festival that literally I did not realize was happening the same day until I got there. And it's in the area where I normally get my my hair cut, and um, it was just a wonderful coincidence. And and I was I was just like pointing out to some of my friends like there's some fucking festival down here. It's sick as fuck. And Char came down, and we played some UFO catchers, and, and she took a picture of me trying to get a Kirby UFO. We did win! We did win one item from the UFO catcher. 
Um, we both each got a Kirby, um, which I was very, very, very happy about. But there was one Kirby that was that was on a. It was like a strawberry Kirby. It was really cute, and I almost got it. I almost fucking got it. And the picture that that Char took of me, my hair was like naturally doing the Markatoto flip. I was like, oh shit, dude. My, I, sh I should cut my hair more often if it does the natural flip. That's crazy. Um, I did not run away with that strawberry curvy, unfortunately. I'm still thinking about it to this day. I'm a little sad that I did not get him because it was in my grasp. It was in my grasp. I, I, I'll tell you, it was in my fucking grasp. But... I mean, maybe next time. Next time, baby. Um, fucking, this is all, no, stop giving me the sad ass songs, dude. Um, yeah, so that was, that was good fun. Uh, I had a great time yesterday. It's also just like nice and it's hot. It was so fucking hot outside. Um, and now today it's really cloudy. And, and in some places there's like a big fucking tornado or something. <laughs> There's like some big fucking tornado. I'm not sure. I'm not sure what's happening in California right now. There's tornadoes, earthquakes. Um, I think DK said that it, it looked like, uh, what was it? Kaigo, Kaigo, -ger, the fucking Groudon, the, the, those legendary Pokemon from Ruby and Sapphire. They're like fighting outside. Kyogre, whatever, whatever. Roger, yeah, that thing you eat at uh, that is like sandwiches, but with meat. Um, yeah, all, all that shit's happening in in uh, in California right now, which um, which is I'm, I'm hoping everybody is safe. I'm hoping everybody is is doing okay. I know, I know, my good friend Tiff uh, and Jet are are in a bit of a pickle, but not not like a pickle pickle, but like you know, like it's just scary. It's scary to look outside. Yeah, Kroger and ground beef, exactly. May not be in tornado count country. Toronto, like, Canada's not really tornado country. We've had, we've had a couple of tornadoes, but they were kind of minor, to be honest with you. They're kind of, they're kind of, like, they're not, like, ginormous, big old tornadoes, right? Like, the, the ones that the U.S. get. That shit's nuts. That shit's crazy. Uh, in, in the U.S., some of the weather. The prairies are? I mean, I guess so. I know there was a tornado in, oh gosh, I forget where, like pretty recently. Got him in AB when I was, uh, when I was a kid. God damn. That shit's scary. Listen though, we got some things to talk about. I love, uh, fucking, Old ass Markatoto loves talking about the weather. I'm that motherfucker who'd be yelling at a cloud. Like, I don't know. Listen, we got some real fucking important things we gotta talk about. Some really, really, really exciting stuff. Because, um, I've got some updates about Kalawakan 2023. Um, first and foremost, I did uh, ask the Discord. Um, whether people want, uh, like, want to change the dates or anything like that. It seems like Kalawakan 2023, the date is good, is good to go. That's the music I needed. The date is now good to go. Uh, so we will officially make it September 30th. And October 1st, that is the, uh, the Saturday and the Sunday, um, this, uh, this upcoming September. Um, so we're officially, I am officially putting my foot down. Uh, if there's anything that comes up, I will let you guys know. Um, but I don't foresee it, uh, being an issue or changing in the next, like, so-and-so. I'm, I'm pretty sure... Everything will be good to go. Um, in terms of like the time, I have it set to six, but I might I might change it to like maybe like eight. Maybe maybe eight. 
uh, 8 p.m. EST. I'm not sure if that works out better because I also have to think about uh, the folks over on the West Coast. Actually, I think I might change it to 8 p.m. Seems like it's it's the better way anyway. I think we'll we'll change it to, to starting at 8 p.m. Oh fuck, I almost missed. Yeah, eight eight seems to be a, a lot better. So I'll change it to I'll change it to 8 p.m. So Saturday, September 30th at 8 p.m. till fucking whenever. And then Sunday, same thing, 8 p.m. And I got some some events planned for that. Really, really, really excited. Really, really, really excited for that. Um, so there's that. That's the, uh, the, the, the minor announcement that I wanted to talk about. But we've got something else that I want to talk about that I think is much more exciting. I want, I want, like, cool music. Yeah, okay, this is good. This is good. All right, so. Uh... I talked about this not too long ago as maybe something I wanted to pitch to the community for the, um, for the map. And, uh, I thought it would be good to open up for folks who, who may not want a, uh, an artist alley or, or if you're like, you know, not, um, if you're not like doing commissions or anything like that, but you still do art regularly for, uh, for, let's say, hashtag Mar art or anything like that. Um, I thought it would be really, really neat if, um, and not even just me. This was a, a shared sentiment between, uh, Uber and, uh, myself and, uh, some, some consultation from Fluber. Um, I would like to formally announce, uh, that the artist gallery that's not what that is there it is <laughs> i i full screen it so it probably full screened away so uh artist gallery is now open for submissions um which i am now going to put into bulletin board there we go so that is uh that is something there, and I will now announce it on Twitter as well. There we go. Um, I thought Kirby had some cheeks. No, those are just my hands. I guess it is kind of a, a neat trick that I can put my two hands together. They just look like, um, is look like butt cheeks, huh? Um, so, um, and I just put up the announcement on, uh, oh my god. As me clicking away. Okay, may I, I'll, I'll just, oh god, wait, hold on. There we go, I'll just take that away. Uh, do you have a piece of Markitoto related art that you would like to show off? But, you know, let's say you're not, you're not, you don't want to do like an artist alley thing, or you don't want to, you know, you don't want to make the, uh, the template, which by the way, there's still plenty of spots in the artist alley. I think it'd be really, really cool if, uh, if people signed up for that. If your commissions are open or you want to show off any sort of media or anything that you do, um, you know, Artist Alley is open for everyone. So there's lots of, lots of spots, uh, open for Artist Alley. However, if you don't want to do that, but you would like a little piece of art shown off in, um, in the, uh, in the world, Artist Gallery is something that we are doing on top of the Artist Alley that I thought would be really, really, really fun uh, to implement. And uh, if we go over here, uh, let me uh, let me go ahead and open up the uh, the Google form. Um, that is not the Google form. Where's the Google form? There it is. All right. So the Google form has all of the requirements for submission. Uh, so your size can range from, uh, 1024 by 1024 up to, uh, 4096. Uh, we would ideally love to have, uh, completed art pieces only. So anything in terms of, uh, fully colored, um, stuff that is like, you know, what I would consider not a work in progress. You know what I mean? 
If we have an artist alley booth submitted, can we still submit a piece for the artist gallery? Yes. Yes, you can. Absolutely. Um, my thing is that, uh, please make sure to keep things related. Art pieces should be in relation to, um, you know, something within the shared community, uh, Mark Toto related or anything surrounding Kalawakan, just any of that. Um, I also, and this is, this to me is exciting, uh, feel free to submit and use any previous Mar art you've made in the past. Um, as long as it is fully complete, um, then, then I have little to no issue with including it into the, uh, into the world. Um, the other thing is that there will be maximum two pieces per artist, so... Uh, please choose wisely if you are going to uh, submit a little piece of art to the uh, to the world. Uh, we're looking to have about 40 to 60 pieces for the artist gallery. So um, if uh, if you would like to be included out of that, um, it would be fucking fantastic. It would be really, really, really good. Due date is September 30th, 2023. Um, so things are a little, um, again, it, it's pretty limited space, but, um, we could probably wiggle in some room, you know, again, it's, it's 42, 60 pieces for the artist gallery. Um, and I know that there's been a lot of, a lot of art, um, submitted throughout the years. Um, it would be really, really cool to get some new pieces for the, uh, for the artist gallery as well. Um, but if you would, if, you know, like I said, if you would like to submit some old stuff and have it featured in the world, that would be really, really fucking cool too. Um, so as usual, uh, your preferred name to be credited as, you could put that here, your email, socials. Here is some examples of how it will look in the world. Um, that is, uh, <laughs> I literally, I literally asked Uber if uh if she already has like an example up in terms of uh like creating a frame and she literally just bust this out like within like uh, what was that like it felt like 30 minutes and it's like it's perfect it's so good um so here's what it looks like in the world also thank you aperture city for the uh 11 months says i miss iba already it's okay we'll we'll see iba iba will be there Iba, Iba will will be there. She will be uh, with us in in just a moment. But we have to uh, we have to talk about some important stuff before we we do anything. Also, I'm like I'm like tucked into the corner. Let me, let me get out of the corner real quick. I'm a little I'm a little shy. It looked like I was a little shy. I'm not that shy. Um yeah. So here it is. Here's what it looks like in the world. Um, which is all really 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 uh, exciting. Also, thank you. <laughs> I'm going to, I think I'm going to pronounce, I'm going to pronounce this name how I think it's pronounced. And you can tell me otherwise if I mispronounce this. Uh, thank you, Fred Fox, for, for, the, for the subscription. Please enjoy those Mar emotes alongside the I, the Somnium Files emotes that we have. Please enjoy them. Um, but yeah, these are, uh, some examples of how some of the pieces are going to look in the world. Um, <laughs> Fred fucks in the English language. Yeah. Yeah. And so, uh, that's really, really, really exciting stuff. I'm very, very happy with the way the frames look. It looks fucking fantastic. So again, shouts out to one of our architects. Uh, Uber, Uber the meh, uh, as well as Fluver and all of, all of her amazing hard work. Um, so, art submission. Upload it, make it as uncompressed as you can. Uh, I recommend using Google Drive or any other service, uh, then providing an, an accessible link. Please make note of of the canvas size in the uh, requirements so please make sure it is above 1024 otherwise uh it's gonna look very 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 crunchy in the world we don't want that people people will be able to literally 
physically go up close to that picture. And at a certain point, it will look aliased, but the higher the resolution, the higher the resolution, the better it will look. So, you know, don't, uh, don't be afraid. Get in there. Get in there. Um... Don't be afraid to uh, to draw on a high resolution, because, uh, you know, worst case scenario, um, we just tone it down. Uh, do you have a ref sheet of yourself and Marley anywhere? I do. Uh, in the uh, the Discord, um, you know what? I would say, funny enough, so the ref sheet for both Mar and Marley are, are made by Spats. Um, and I find that they're a little outdated. Uh, they're not, like, super outdated. You get, like, the flats and everything. Um, but I've been meaning to do a turnaround with the 3D models, which is closer to how I actually draw myself, uh, as well as Marley. Um, the big difference with the ref sheet uh, in the Discord, if you go to Mar Art and click on the uh, the pin messages, there's uh, both the Marley and the Mar Rev sheet in there. Um, the biggest difference is that I draw my head more rounded nowadays, um, and then uh, with Marley in particular, her um, her proportions are a little different than how Spats drew them in that. <laughs> Nowadays, they are they are a lot they're they're a lot more different than how they are nowadays. That's all I'm gonna say. So um yeah, so that's really the the main differences. Um I draw myself much more rounded nowadays. Uh perhaps I will do a full turnaround with the um uh, the 3D models. Um in the uh in the next upcoming days you know what i'm saying but i would say if you if you want a good look at um at the uh the current mar proportions and the current marley proportions um check out any of the um any of the schedule graphics that i put out every week because those will have the um the 3d renders those will have the 3D renders, and those are a lot more accurate, I would say, uh, in my opinion. Take a standard Mar, do the opposite uh, of squeezing his head into a gumdrop shape. What does that mean? I was like, hi, Trax, what's up? So yeah, that's the, uh, that's the big announcement, is uh, the artist gallery is now open for submission. So again, September 20th, that is the um that is the uh the due date for that same thing with um same thing with uh uh with the uh, convention boots uh we have had a couple of submissions but i'm not sure if people uh are aware that like um that the the due date is on the 20th um oh my goodness oh my goodness Thank you, uh, Ichiro, Ichiro uh, Habuki. Thank you for the $5 super chat. Oh my goodness. Will you be submitting anything to the gallery? Um, that's a great question. Oh, what the fuck? <laughs> Skip the shit out of me. Why did it do that? <laughs> um... Yeah, Trex, you should you should make a booth. You should make a booth. It's not that hard. It's very, very, very easy to make a booth. We've made it uh incredibly easy to make a booth, to be honest with you. Um I played on it, but there's so much I gotta submit, and I'm a perfectionist. Oh my god. Gonna be submitting a booth app uh once I get a few things ready. Ooh. Got the crystal booth? Dude, that's exciting. I've had the template pulled up all week. I, I, I just know, I know people are gonna be waiting on like the last week to submit a booth. 
I that's what I know like more than anything I know people are gonna be waiting on the last minute that is just that is the the nature of humans uh, this is what I have noticed over the past like how however long I've been stranded on this planet because I'm this <laughs> I'm also this um what was I gonna say Oh yeah, the question was, uh, will I be submitting anything to the gallery? Should I? <laughs> I, I don't, I, ooh, ow! I don't know if, um, if I should. Maybe. Might be good to make some more art for, for the, uh, the thing. I, I wouldn't mind, but I just don't know. I don't know what I would, what I would submit. Maybe, I think that was a sign that you should. Maybe. I've got so much things that I need to do over the next several so-and-so. I've got so many things, man. Like, I, I, uh, there's a lot of things going on. You've done some great pieces lately. That's true, but those are, those are, you know, I wouldn't submit those, obviously, but I don't know. We'll see. Somehow doing stuff for the community makes me procrastinate less. I don't know why. I I I, I guess it's like because you know you, you get to see it live. You should show off your art. Eh. Eh. Maybe. I don't know. Have a single Marcel portrait roped off. Mm. Roped off like the Mona Lisa. Maybe. Maybe. God, if I could make something like the Mona Lisa. That would be crazy. Mar of Lisa. That's, that would be insane. That would be crazy. Um, anyways, that's, that's what's going on. That's the, uh, that's the big announcement that I've got. Um, really, really, really exciting stuff. Very, very, very exciting. I'm, I'm very, very happy with the way things are are coming together with the uh, the Kalawa Khan map. It's uh, genuinely like it's so cool seeing uh, Uber and Fluber work their their fucking magic. You know what I'm saying? Um, <laughs> gonna draw Marley like Beatrice painting from Umineko. Oh man. Kalawa Khan is a VR con? Yes, yes it is. It is the uh, the virtual convention uh, in VR chat that uh, me and the community are doing um, as like a little a little meetup. We did it last year, and it was a ton of fun. And so we wanted to take the step even further uh, for for the uh, the VR chat meetup. And, uh, and now we have a whole world dedicated to Kalawa Khan. And I'm very, very, very excited. Um, again, if you want to know when that is uh, and all the details leading up to the event, uh, please join the Discord. Uh, the Discord is the place where all of that info is... Um, all that info is going to be happening there. It's, it's going to be a ton of fun. Uh, I'm going to be there. Maybe Alfred will be there. Maybe, maybe Spaz, Quirty. I don't know. Any, like, uh, any of my VR chat friends will, will be there. Uh, I'll probably even rope in Joy. Char will be there. Uber will be there. Fluber will be there. I'm going to, I'm going to try and rope in Joy to join with us too. It'll, it'll be, it'll be a great time. Uh, it'll be very, very, very fun. So I'm very excited. I'm gonna try and get Robbie to, to get his VR set up for that, but he probably won't. Maybe, we'll see. I don't know. I don't know. I don't, I don't wanna force anything upon anything, but it'd be nice to, to have Robbie there too. Dude, imagine, imagine, dude, we should, oh man, we should do a, a, a Sparkle on Raven panel. It would be the one time. It would be the one time where we can actually do a Sparkle on Raven panel. Like legitimately. 
Please, please. Maybe, maybe we could get something scheduled. I see you have Tundras on your wish list. Do you have any full body tracking right now? I do. I have Vive Trackers 1.0. <laughs> I've, I've been running with a 1.0, dude. It's a struggle. The battery life on those pieces of shit, it's bad. It's bad. I got slime, so I kind of get you. But I've heard slime is actually really, really good. Like, if for, for what it is, for like a cheap solution, um, and the fact that you don't have to deal with like base stations and like occlusion and stuff, it's actually like pretty decent. It's a decent solution. I really, really want some slimes. Um, like, honestly, I was like legit thinking of getting a quest three. Because, listen, I love, I love my Vive. Or, sorry, I love my Index. Except that I actually don't. Because that thing is fucking, like, heavy as fuck and really fucking annoying to deal with. It's heavy. It's front heavy. Every time I have to, like, lift it up every now and then just to, like, balance it. The controllers fucking suck. I hate the fucking Index controllers because they're broken as fuck right now. I hate it. I hate it so much. Slime is okay. Mine are co uh, commissioned, and the trackers are kind of big. Uh, I'm kind of chubby, so the hip and waist trackers get misaligned when I sit down. I I feel that. You know, I I gotta. Here's the thing, cause cause I got a bit of a. I, you know, I'm a big guy too. I got a I got a little bit of a gut. I'm not I'm not a skinny I'm not a skinny motherfucker. So I feel your pain in that. But it's a, it also it also feels like a little worse, cause um. You know, it's like the guts kind of like covering up the 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 tracker, and then you have to deal with the occlusion issues. And I'm like, fuck it, whatever, man, whatever, man. There's no, there. All, all I'm saying, all I'm saying, it's got to be a better one. We we need them suits. <laughs> we need them. We need them fucking the mocap suits, dude. <laughs> Uh, th that shit's gotta be affordable one day. Uh, now oh, we'll see, we'll see. The official trackers are gonna be very, are gonna be very small, so I, I might cop soon. The official trackers? Wait, what do you mean the official trackers? You're talking about like Vive 3.0s? Or are you talking in like, I mean like I want the, oh, the official slime tracker. Oh, okay, my bad, my bad. Yeah, the, the slime trackers are, are legit. The slime trackers are legit. We're talking, we're talking VR shit. We're talking VR shit. I want, yeah, I want to be in a ping pong suit. I want that shit to track me like, like, uh, I want to, I want to look like, um, that one shot of Tommy Tallarico in the, in the mocap suit. That's what I want. Uh, how much hours do I have in VR chat? I think like, let me see. Yeah, about about uh, three thousand eight hundred or so. About that. Thank you, fear farting, for the ten months. Thank you, thank you, thank you. <clears throat> also, I totally forgot to say thank you, Duality's downfall. For the, uh, the seven months, says, holy shit, it's Sunday. I actually forgot till I got the nutty, which I'm very glad. I've been, I've been updating the, the notification, uh, so that it's a little more detailed anytime I go live. And it seems like it's, it's working a lot better, which is nice. Uh, shout out to Pure Pari, who, uh, has been subscribed for five months. It says, happy freaking Uchikoshi Sunday. Uh, and then of course... Aperture City did the, uh, the the subscription earlier, but I already said that one, so thank you. I bought two slices of uh, of peace on DoorDash today. They were so big. Oh. Um. Oh, of pizza. I was like, oh wait, I I knew I knew you were talking about some food. I was like, wait, what? I knew you were talking about some food, but anyways. Um, listen. I think I've stalled enough. I think it is about time we head in 
to uh, my game. It's time for I, the Somnium Files, uh, Nirvana Initiative. Oh, man. I'm going to be so sad when all of this is over. And we're getting very, very, very close to the, uh, to the, uh, the finishing line here, I would say. Somnio, Somnio. Uh, I heard Joseph Anderson is now also going through, uh, through this game, which I'm very, very, very happy to hear. When the highlight video comes out for that, I'm like, I'm all in. I'm gonna be, I'm gonna be listening and watching the fuck out of that. That shit's going to be tight. Uh, or maybe I should just, I feel, I feel silly. He's already done? No fucking way. I'm just gonna fucking click the play button. Are you serious, bro? Dude, I have brain problems. <laughs> you legally can't finish this game now? Also, hello, The Knife Kirby. Uh, what a fucking great name. I think I've said this before. I recently drew a, uh, a Knife Kirby. Uh, and so I, I just looked at that name and made me smile, so. Oh, man. I don't think I'm gonna finish this tonight. I know it's for the investigation, but you detained your friend who was just dumped. You think an ex-con doesn't deserve Hang to be on, happy? Ma Can we Stop talk about, uh, Ruby? No, I'm good. Who killed them? I hope you stay happy forever! All right, well. Time to, uh... Time to head into a, a completely different part of the timeline. I think we're heading over here. Oh, wait, I need my, um, I need my list of AI and I words. Just in case my, my little notepad, my little notepad of, of all the uh, important shit. All right. Uh, oh god, I have to do this Somnium again, I forgot. Oh, fuck. Okay. You see what happens when I'm away for like a week and we don't do Somnium for a week? I'm like, oh god. Mituki. <laughs> That's such a funny way of, of saying it. Mituki. <laughs> Ah, oh, that's really good. Okay, I better I better use my controller for this one. All right. Dude, we're so back. I forgot how how good this intro was. Huh? Did I die? Thank you, Judo versus for the eight months. He says Iba is dead. Ah, eh, she's fine. Yeah, you must be dead. You're floating. You're right. I suppose I can float in this Somnium. This is interesting. Also, I think I'm gonna turn it up a little bit. Why Why is it so quiet? Hold on. Um. Oh, there we go. Oh, that's probably why. Wait, hold on. Okay, nice. Is it? I have little experience in this regard. It happens quite often, once in a while. Oh, okay, now it's a little too loud. I'm just gonna turn it down just a smidge. 
Minus nine decibels. There we go. Which is it? Quite often or once in a while? It depends on the mental state of the subject of the sink. I don't keyhole spot it. It's just like... I think I remember him telling me it was always his dream to fly. Sometimes a person's wants show up in their dreams. It's, <laughs> it's just like... Ugh. It's just like... Ugh. <laughs> this is Yoyagi Park, right? It appears to be, though it is different in many ways. Somnium scan, activate! I like that you could literally just leave it hanging here. I, I love that you could just... And like, nothing happens until you press the button. She could... <laughs> she could literally just... Oh, hi, Iba. Hi, Iba. Oh my God, hey, Vazdi. Wow. He's looking right at you, chat. What are you gonna do about it? What are you gonna do about it? Now, chat, don't look too long into her eyes because she just starts going, oh! Caught me with a mental blast. <laughs> Dude, it's just like... Oh man, I, when I was watching... Uh, I was watching Trex play uh, I, the Somnium Files. Because it was their first time... Uh, it's their first time playing this game. Uh, I'm really, really, really happy that they're playing it. And the first Somnium... Uh, I think you were there, Perp. The- I- I completely forgot the first Somnium only has three mental locks. And I was like... Holy fuck. <laughs> Holy fuck. Oh, man. How far we've come, huh? <laughs> Did sit yeah, simpler times. Oh, my goodness. <laughs> Holy fuck. Uh, oh, sorry. Hold on. I have to take this. Um, oh, right. This is the moment I forgot. Now perish! Die! By I3, there'll be like 18 mental locks. I would not be surprised. All right. Uh, what do you think of AI... Scary. Scary. Okay, so what do we what do we need? Um We have everything here. We have everything here. We have everything here. Oh! So the last one that we need is the Amami. Um and in order to get the Amami. Hold on, I gotta look into the uh to the file here. In order to get to the Amami... Ah! So we have to get the Crazy Strat. Um, we gotta get the, uh, the statistics to Crazy. So, okay. So don't forget, chat. Don't forget. Blah, blah, blah. I crazy now. Uh, oh god, just one more. Just one more. One more star, and then I can I can level up my sinker class. Blah blah blah. I crazy. Oh wait, what was the other one that I got? Um. Wow, this is filling up fast. Look at this. Oh, informant. Collect more than ninety appendix files. Cool. Blah, blah, blah. I crazy now. <laughs> What's this? A lock picking tool favored by professionals. Locksmiths and thieves. Does Sinker class actually do anything? Uh, it unlocks more stuff for me to buy in the shop. 
Maybe Leon used to use this. So we can we can get more um more costumes. Yeah. Maybe we can open some of them with it too. We should hold on to it. Um Okay, I keep forgetting what we have to do for this one. Um an iron door. There is a pull tab on top of the knob. Pull tab? Like the ones on a can. Why is it on the doorknob? Uh, oh yeah. We have to pull open with the pull tab. It won't explode, will it? We can ask that question after you do it. I love, dude. Mizuki's like, attitude is the best. It's the best. Then it would be too late. Well. I suppose I can try. She really does oh, do the like the opened. Date like smug. Aww. You wanted an explosion, didn't you? Aw. There's a piece of paper. Oh right. I forgot about this. 0809. It says 0809. But the paper appears to be ripped on the right side. Wait, fuck, what was it? It appears to be a standard set. There is something. Got it. Makes sense that Leon's dream is like this. Uh, yeah, we gotta pick it open. Like this, this, and this. There! It's open. Oh. You're good at that. Wow! Tons of money! A little cliche. Also, this uh, this fucking song is still the best. I'm rich. I shouldn't get so hyped up. Also, Lian's color scheme is so weird here. I'm only gonna steal just this once. I'm going to escape poverty and find a good job. Okay. We gotta find that split. I can't remember where that split was from before. All right, time to open the copper safe. Is this a memory of when Leon used to- Leon was trying to better himself, I guess. Oh, it turned into a safe. I wish they hadn't made Leon like that for the Ryuki oh, right. sections. Oh, I know. I know. I, I am also not happy about that, personally. Another safe came out. There is a keyhole and a keypad. It looks like we need an eight-digit code. So this needs a key and a code? It's the I am guessing it will open with either. So the safe only needs the key or the code. I think I know the, the code. on the door said 0809. But this requires an eight-digit code. Let's give it a shot. And I'm pretty sure I wrote it all down before. It should be 08090708. Let's just try this number. Yeah! What? It opened? That's because I'm super smart and I remember stuff sometimes. There are 10 million different combinations. How did you know? I love, I love that we get extra dialogue anytime we just like remember stuff from before. <laughs> it was an educated guess based on logical theory. <laughs> You're bullshitting. You're bullshitting, Mizuki. You're literally bullshitting. That sounds wrong, but you are strangely persuasive. I'm a genius. My intuition scares me. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, man, that's so funny. Is this a magazine? It looks like a job search magazine. Hmm. They're all kind of mad. Huh? How do you read this? Her Dury Research Institute? I forgot about that line. And I don't know what Her that is, Dury? But I bet I can land that janitor position. Her Dury. I, again, the, the like, how can I say it? The, 
the turnaround for my feelings on this character is fucking insane. I I can't believe how how much more I feel for this character now. It's fucked up. It's absolutely fucked up. This is the memory of when Mian gave up a life of thievery. I'm guessing he meant Horidori. Right. The Institute. He's broken even, yeah. <laughs> the Hunky Dory Institute. The key! Oh, it turned into a key! It's just like, oh! It's just like, oh! The ceiling opened up. We can go higher. We can go much higher. Low to high. It's I remember this puzzle. Low to high. Maybe it symbolizes how Leon wants to bring himself up in the world. At the same time, I imagine it is also a hint for the Somnium. Can we hear Dante say my prince right. again? Sure. Do things from the bottom up. Why not? It's been a solid well, two weeks. Around. Mizuki, you have five minutes left. Uh, okay. Uh, so low to high. Um, where's that first? Where's that first, uh, piece here? I think we gotta go up. Oh, there it is. Uh, I think it's, oh wait, no, it's based on the trash cans. Nothing is happening. Hmm. Oh, wait, there must be a, a bucket lower. Or wait, can't we just do it without it? Hold on. I think we could just do it without going low to high. An unopened safe. It has a keyhole and a voice activation device. This safe should either open with a key or a voice detection. Uh, that's right, open with a voice. Whose voice should I imitate? <laughs> and what should I say? My prince. <laughs> oh, if only I could punch you right now. The 10 million hour playthrough? Listen, it's fine. You told me to do it. It's a safe. It has. All right. Kizzy's. And what should I say? Let's see. Is there going to be new dialogue for this one now that we just know what it is? What would Leon want to hear? I know. Say, my prince. My prince. Yeah. It opened. Lean is just that easy to read. Oh, literally, yeah, that's just the, that's the new dialogue. <laughs> He's just that easy to read. Funny. I've always liked this. It really takes me back. Thanks so much. <laughs> Don't worry about it. You work really hard. You're not afraid of getting dirty. You even do a good job with the toilets. We're not making out of AI and I with this one. What do you mean? Though you can be a little rash sometimes. <laughs> I'll work on that. I really was a no good person not too long ago. I was straying off the path. And that's the nice way of putting it. But from now on, I'm going to work hard as a janitor at Horidori Institute. Eventually, I'm going to be the CEO. Or maybe president is the title there. Anyway, this is when my life begins to skyrocket. Oh man. Ah, oh, there's the split. He's he's so hopeless, but I love him. It sounds like he's talking to an older woman. A coworker, perhaps? Probably. It sounds like he was a little clumsy, but well liked.
this key is... The key! Ah! Hi there. <laughs> uh, that's what I... I, that's what I used for the uh, the preview picture for the uh, for the stream. I fucking love this screenshot so much. It's okay, I can move. What's <laughs> she with got, that thing? She got the smack. Yeah, she really she really did just go like. Wait, hold on, I have it. She really did just go like. I hate this guy. Damn it. I haven't done a single thing wrong since I started at Horadori Institute. I didn't steal anything. You think an ex-con doesn't deserve to be happy? That annoying voice. It's Chikara, isn't it? That <laughs> yeah, like every day Chikara I'm grateful that Chikara is dead. I think about Chikara being dead, and then I, and then I do a backflip. Oh, that damn Chikara! I understand how you feel, but there is more we must do. I know. I f fucking hate this You're guy. Right. Hey, do you still have the key from earlier? Of course. I have been keeping it close. I'm sure it'll come in handy. Look at it. Okay. Well, we're not flying anymore. Um. Oh, I think that's the only thing I can do. This stereo was inside the safe. Oh, this is the one they use at the dance club. An old stereo like this? Do they not have a bigger budget? I think they chose to use it. I remember Kizzy saying, stereos are cool and retro. <laughs> that's a great impression though, Mizuki. Stereos are cool and retro. <laughs> what is that stereo doing in the insomnia? Uh, okay, I know, wait, I never did the turn on the radio option, really? Though I don't know if we would get a reaction. Hold on, I gotta know. Oh, I can hear something. Her. Oh my god, man. Come on, man. Come on. I gotta say, I'm pretty pumped right now. What the fuck? It felt like I went straight to heaven. Why did he. Why did he. Why did he sniv? So, Bro. I've decided. I'm gonna marry her. My heart feels like a jackhammer. Like it's gonna burst out of my chest any As second. That's a dodge. <laughs> oh, dude, did. What's going on? Comments Leon has made in the past are being mixed like some kind of whack mashup. Let's pretend we never heard it and move on. Yeah, you I have think four I will. Four minutes remaining. I think I will Sarah also do that, Mizuki. Dance club. Oh, dude, did it tell me here? <laughs> and just like that? That's. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, I was about to say, oh, dude, is this the, is this the shoe closet? <laughs> that's, that's how, that's how Dante does it. The song, the song. I just realized her backpack looks like like a heart. Now I hear my friend got herself a boyfriend. They're going out for barbecue on the weekend. Has it always just been like that? Hamburger, hamburger, cheeseburger, whopper. God. Iba Iba also doing the dance is really funny. He loves the dads. <laughs> <laughs> oh, 
We already did it. <laughs> Why are you dancing, Iva? <laughs> we already fucking watched it. Whatever. Dancing is fun because we can all do it together. True, bestie. <laughs> True. Well, okay. Two safes came out. She is spitting. Maybe the key from earlier would come in handy here. But we only have one key. Oh. Okay, so what did we choose the last time? I think we, um... I think we chose the gold safe the last time, if I recall. So, I guess this time around we'll do the, uh, the metal safe. Don't be mean to Mizuki. It's crazy because Mizuki also knows how to dance. It's awesome. Tells you in the top left. Oh, I just wasn't paying attention. Oh, I thought that was coming from the game. Scare the shit out of me. All right, now we're getting into uncharted territories. For him, blank. Oh. Oh, and we're back to floating. The love loses route. Open the memory with Gen. Wait, Gen? Huh. Yeah, we really ended on like a like a positive note the last time, and this one is like a little this one's a little a little freaky. This place is inside the safe. Kinda reminds me of Brahmin. Well, let's look around. Yeah. Whoa, what does Gen have to do with this? Oh, it, uh, oh. You want me to put this on? It'll look good on you, please. <laughs> Aw. <laughs> That's really. I don't know. That line reading was like really cute. <laughs> It'll look good on you, please. <laughs> you can you can imagine Mizuki doing a fucking like pleading face with that one. <laughs> please. Whoa, you look really suspicious. Tell Gen that next time you see him. Damn! Lien and Gen are developing a strong friendship. You will not spill the beans about him. What? What is going on? Uh, oh, blah, 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 I crazy. Uh, I want Gen, crazy, crazy. Oh, that's impish, Never mind. Uh, oh man, okay. So, where to now? I guess there's only one thing we can do. Oh? Oh! It's Masked this Woman! This is the mask that one woman wears. Who we now know who it is! I wonder if Leon knows her. Perhaps it is simply a common mask. Well, putting that threat aside for now. Try wearing it. Hmm, it looks good on you. You should keep it on. This is probably not good for my skin. I will take it off later. You're an AI. <laughs> I guess. I guess so. Huh. I see. Okay, so we can switch between the two masks and authenticate. A large safe. This looks like some kind of facial recognition device. So we need a face registered to the device to open it. Oh, which is probably Gen's face then, right? This yeah. mask isn't working. I don't understand. Let's try something else. Three uh, minutes left. You can do this. Sure can. Okay, so let's... You want me to put this on? 
It'll look good on Okay. So now we head over and a safe with facial recognition. There we oh, go. It worked. So it was registered again. Oh. Oh, that looks so yummy. Ugh. Everything screwed oh. up, man. Why'd it come to this? As soon as Lien spawned, VTube Studio on my phone crashed again. What the hell? That is so fucking weird. Why did it do that? This is really, really, really fucking weird. Okay, there we go. I'm back. Hi. I move! You'll drive yourself crazy thinking about it. Sometimes the world is just unfair. No matter how hard you try to change, doesn't mean you'll be accepted. That's just life. Damn. But there is hope. At the very least, I'm grateful that you and Mr. Date are my friends. Aww. Thank you, Random Cluster Missile. For the two months, this boy howdy, it's Lee End time. It's so true. Kenny, you're my best friend, Kenny. And I'm pretty sure Date thinks so too. Aww. Let me know if you ever need anything. I'll help you out. Thanks. Now eat this while it's still hot. This is this is dude's rock. Okay. Thanks for the food. This is this is the dude's rock timeline. <laughs> Straight up the blowjob brothers. <laughs> we are the brothers cock. <laughs> oh. It's a good thing he has such good friends. So what's scary about this then? Oh, what the fuck? No, you can't open this. Oh. Mizuki, over there. Yeah, let's go. Is that, that's just Lien. He's just in our Somnium, what the hell? No, please don't open it. Looks like this is the place. What's in here? Ah. Sorry, Lien, but we got to open this before you can stop us. Huh. Let's start with the keyhole. Oh. Uh. I, yeah, What's I guess this? we got we to gotta pick it. Yes, it opened. You're getting good at this. Now I need the code. Oh. Uh, this one. This number. Uh-huh. Correct. We did it. Let's try the voice. And then, uh, Kizzy's. Hey, Prince. Correct. Oh, what is going on? It's like a master key. Next is the stereo. We saw this earlier too. It's like doing the culmination of like everything. Start the music. <laughs> okay. That the 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 oh, and it's what? gone. Last is the facial recognition. Uh, put on face map. Oh, there we go. That was like literally the same thing there. I was like, what's the difference between the two? Thanks, Kenny. Uh, oh, and we're done. Uh, the Somnium's done. We did it. I said stop. Now, what could be Face inside? versus whole head. Oh, okay. This is Brahmin. You haven't used this lock in a while, have you? Oh, I'm the scared. The mechanism itself is pretty simple, but it's all rusted out. Lucky for you, this is child's play for me. And there. Get it open? Yeah. I struggled a bit with it, but now oh, I'm, I'm scared. let's see what's inside. What the? Oh, what? shit! Somebody's uh, half body! Hey, is this for real? How can this be? Who is that? Are you surprised? 
You didn't know? Uh oh. Oh, um, oh, again. Yes, that makes sense. If you knew, you wouldn't have asked me to open the lock. And Dan, what happened? Uh, uh, what the? This must be for the HB case. Oh, Why no. Why is this here? I, I gotta know who it is, man! Inside Broman's freezer. A victim of the HB case. But that corpse... We cannot investigate any further here. Dude. We have to go to Brahmin in the real world and check. I'm Which actually really, really we, happy we went gold we route the last time. Out of time. This this is definitely a much more story involved. Um it's much more story involved than the 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 gold one. Gold one is like, I'm glad we like that's that's a story that ended. This is something that is the whole thing, you know what I'm saying? Oh my god. Everything's all fucked up. Everything's all fucked up. What the fuck happened? Just makes you want more. Yeah, Gold Route revealed like so much, but at least it was like kind of a self contained story. You know what I mean? But this route has more stuff involving the HB case, which is like the 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 overarching story, right? So I'm Oh, River, I am also very 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 scared. Yeah, Gold Route gave me the answer about about Jin and the uh, and the masked woman. Hey, Mizuki? Are you sure about this? Oh yeah. What? 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 <laughs> well, Genny isn't here. We should at least get permission from him first. Um, I'm sure it's fine. Just do it. Uh, fine. Yeah, I'm sure it's fine. We gotta know who that who that corpse is. Uh, it's open. Okay, open it. You're gonna make this poor guy open the door and look at the corpse again? Oh wait, it's not even there anymore. Uh, just like I thought. Oh no, never mind. It was just the it was just the camera. But this is. Oh shit! Yeah, there it is. It's a real chin. Oh fuck. Oh man. Who is this? Yup. There's Jin. Hey man. You got some fucking explaining to do, buddy. You got some fucking explaining to do. Mommy? What the fuck? Oh, what up, Proziti? Oh, a mommy! Oh my god, her expression! Oh my god! Can we talk? Oh, she really pulled off the can we talk? <laughs> she really did the <laughs> the fucking Oh boy. <laughs> hey, uh can we can we talk for a minute? It's something serious. <laughs> hey, can I can I message you real quick? <laughs> oh, I know why Leon opened the lock on the freezer. Oh, you asked man. him to, didn't you, Genny? Yeah. Oh, Amame. What? What does she you have know, to do with this? I want to know who that this? body is and why it's there. What do you have to say for yourself? And also, why? Why the fuck were you hiding it from us, dude? <laughs> Call me. <laughs> Sent 50, 75 minutes ago, 60 minutes calls. <laughs> Mizuki again. Oh boy. Oh man. We got a lot of fucking talking to do. Let me just get all the items out of the way here. There we go. Kitchen. 
Um, menu, table. Yeah, are you getting get just getting it all through just in case. I don't expect there to be to be any any extra dialogue, but you know who knows, right? Like you know there could be there could be one thing. Oh, oh, oh! Everybody's got so many dialogue options in this one. Holy shit! Okay. All right. When did you open the lock on the freezer? Yeah, lots to talk about. I remember it was around sunrise on the 13th. I got a call from Genny. It's Lien. His expression is dark. Why didn't you say anything about the corpse? I've been buddies with Genny for a long time. I can't knock on my bro. And that would make me a total scumbag. I, you know what? Like, I get it, man. I, yeah, I get it. Why would I do that? It's fair. Uh, do you know anything about the corpse? Nothing. I've never seen this person before. Huh. Wait, why is... Oh. What, are you dumb? Why is that a dumb question? If Genny did this, why would he show me the body? True. And it's not like he killed me or anything after. That is a fair point. He's kind of he's kind of spitting. <laughs> I'm not gonna lie, he's kind of spitting. In the Somnium earlier, Gen was surprised to see the body. Then why didn't Genny call the police? Well, I had a feeling you predicted the masked woman. Yes, yes, I did. I did predict it. I had I had a feeling just even based off of the voice I had a feeling that that um she was like somehow related to Mizuki. By the way, major fucking spoilers. I mean, obviously in this at this point in the story, if you if if you're coming in with like um with like thinking that there's not going to be spoilers, like dude, we're we're in major fucking spoiler territory, so <laughs> I have my reasons. What the hell does that mean? I got it from the mannerisms. One of my friends uh, got it from the voice. Yeah, the voice is very, very, very apparent. Okay, so who is that corpse? I mean, we know who it is, but... We have no idea. <laughs> she did... She did the... She did the... <laughs> He did the t Just like how you can hear Billy's voice in terrors. Yeah. Yeah, for sure. The identity of the corpse is unknown. Their face does not match any persons of interest in our database. All we can determine for certain is that this is the left half of their body. And their face has a very distinct marking. Yep. Yeah, we can tell just by looking. Yeah, how long has that been in there? Uh, I don't know how long it's been here. Oh god, okay. Uh, this is your business, isn't it? Yup. How can you tell me you don't know? Ooh. Dude. Gen has nothing to say. That- Damn, bro! You're being chewed out! By by a fucking eighteen year old man. <laughs> yeah, like you are at least a little responsible here. You are like the thing is that she's right though. This is your business. Damn. I think it was about six years ago. Oh my god, it's the number. Six years? <laughs> You're getting cooked by an iPad baby. I lost the key. Right, because he doesn't store his his stuff here. He stores it like in the um, in the warehouse, right? Uh, hold on, are you trying to act suspicious? Damn, Mizuki! Mizuki is going for the throat, dude! Holy shit! Oh man! Yeah, he buys things fresh daily too, so I guess yeah, that makes sense. But holy fuck. You wouldn't just leave your freezer locked for six years. It's common sense. 
With that acknowledged. Damn! He ri bro has nothing to say. What the fuck? How is that body in such good condition for that long? It yeah, it's very frozen. I mean, think about how how um gosh, what's what's her name? Manaka. Think about how how per preserved she was in the first game, right? So it's it's yeah, it's a working freezer. I the Somnium Files had had a very very similar very similar thing going on. It is clear that the body was not frozen recently. Mmm. It shows signs of being frozen for at least several years. Yep, yep, there it is. Uh, why is there a corpse in the freezer? I'm sorry, but I don't know. Damn. He, he really said it with such a, with such a purpose. Like, bro. <laughs> Like you gotta you gotta say it some way some way else. The body just out of nowhere. Are you serious? You're still gonna play this game? Damn <laughs> Leave me alone! <laughs> what would you do if you found half a dead body in a guy's freezer? Like call anyone? <laughs> like if you have a friend who uh who is in the uh who literally works for like an investigation i would probably call them yeah mizuki is pissed this is the most pissed off i've i've heard her in in the entire game so far yeah like like date like it seems like date would be the person to go to more than anybody like i don't know man very funny going from Genshin uh, Paimon uh, playing attorney in the new update to Mizuki grilling as a detective uh, back to back for me. Karina is such a treat. That's true. Wait, they were playing. They're playing uh, Ace Attorney, or were they? Were they just playing an attorney at some point? I was like, wait a minute. Oh, the new Genshin world has a courthouse. Oh, cool. So yeah, okay, so yeah, Paimon literally was just doing Ace Attorney shit. That's that's hilarious. That's super funny. Paimon plays an attorney. I kind of want to see a video of that, to be honest with you. Do I look like I'm playing games? Do I look like? Oh, God. Well... <laughs> oh, man. Oh, God. <laughs> oh, fuck. That's just everything, dude. Everything about that dialogue is so funny. The zoom in, dude. The zoom in. <laughs> Do I look like I'm playing I, the Zomnium Files Nirvana Initiative? Oh, sorry. Hold on. I have to take this real quick. Uh, blah, 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 blah. I crazy. I crazy. I crazy. Okay, awesome. We got the Amami. Um, which, okay. So for the Amami. Oh, wait, hold on. For the Amama E. So this one is. Oh, that's the So E. So we need whatever is left from the So E. Um. Which. Let me see. Uh. Oh, the Ritzko! Uh, Ritzko, uh. Is evolved from Brave or Impish? <laughs> the so we okay so we need we need the brave or impish stat remember that chat okay we need brave or impish okay uh 
Okay, let's go. Who killed them? His expression is hidden by his mask. How would I know? <laughs> what if you had big boobs on your Tamagotchi? Oh, I guess we'll find out. With the corpse being cut in half, the culprit is almost certainly terror. Yep. The cut section is similar to the other recovered bodies. Which would mean this person was sliced in half in the basement of Horidori Institute. Most likely. I remember mm. Boss saying... Yeah, yeah. Five, five different, different DNA. DNA. Which, means which means there might be another yet undiscovered, undiscovered victim. Yup, there it is! I, I remember that. Do you know anything about the cor- Well, first off, are you okay? Are you good? Amame, if I leave you here, you good? Y yeah. Oh, you, you don't sound good. Girl, you gotta go home. Girl, you need some fucking therapy. Somehow. Oh, you... So, so you got Ryuki face going on here. Um, blank eyes staring off into the distance. Very, very Ryuki-like in nature. I don't know. Uh-oh. I have no idea who it is. Mame saw the corpse in the freezer. She seemed to be completely shocked by it. Dissociation, known trait of Ryuki Kuru Kurutos. Oh, by the way, I did receive the, um, the Ryuki zine from Char yesterday. Big shouts out. Thank you very, very much for the Ryuki zine. Uh, I will not be opening it I will not be opening it until uh, I finish the game. Uh, I held on to it, and um, and I got very scared of opening it, because <laughs> who knows what kind of spoilers are are in there. Uh, so thank you, thank you, Shar, again for for passing a copy to me. I, I really appreciate it. We need to go shopping for ingredients. Huh? Right. We're out. You're going now. There's a 24-hour supermarket nearby. Bro, you guys are in trouble. What do you mean you're gonna go shopping? You guys are in trouble. It is past midnight. The date is February 15th. The date is February 15th. Yeah, also we're in the middle of a conversation. Hello? Sorry, I got a little carried away there. Honestly, I don't want to accuse you of anything. But your story makes no sense. It doesn't add up. It's true. Could you please tell me more? Mizuki, let's move. Huh? SAT is on their way here. SAT? What? Why the SAT? SAT? Uh... S s uh... S I, I actually... Oh, the Japanese SWAT. I see. Special armed troops. Okay, that makes that makes sense. <laughs> Yet yeah, they never study. I I was also thinking of of like SATs, like yeah, like thinking about those. But um, we don't actually have the SATs in Canada. So I was like, wait, is it that one? It's not that one. I believe Boss called them. Boss called them. She was monitoring the Somnium earlier. Oh. So Boss knows there's a corpse here. Right. But why would she call the SAT? Yeah, that's a little... That's a little weird. Huh. Currently shaking the USPS guy so my Hitomi 3D printed figure can get here. Oh, shit! I still really, really want the, uh, the 3D printed, um... The 3D printed Aiba. I don't, I, don't have, I don't have money. I spent too much money in the past couple of weeks. Uh, maybe one day. This is getting annoying. Again? That's so valid. I know. When I get when I when I get more money, I I definitely want to pick up one. I definitely want to pick up one. I want a boss titty mouse pad. <laughs> Me too. Hey, Gen? What what are you planning, bud? 
Dude, everybody's like shocked. Uh, even a mom eight says hmm, but didn't say actually actually said it. But you know. uh, Genny, what's wrong? The police are on their way. The SAT, the special assault team. It, oh, is that where? We're, we're, uh huh. What the? Eavesdropping? Wait, how do you? Again? Wait, how do you know that? Screw this! I don't want any part of it. Uh, yeah, I was like, wait, the fields? Hello? Sorry, but I'm out of here. I got a Mizuki one last year. So yeah. I want. I want. I want merch. I want I the Somnia wait, Files merch. Where? I want it so bad. Oh, I love, I love the far away. I love the far away. I, here's the thing. I want to hide the Somnium Files merch, but I also want that fucking, um, the, uh, the plushie of, uh, of Akane. That Akane plushie is like the fucking coolest. I want that one so bad. It's so cute. She's beside me right now. Fuck. What? Let go of me. Excuse me. Plan. Come over, you can hug her. God. I just I just want one of my own, man. Oh boy. Oh no. Let's go. Yeah. Wow, even Mizuki's like, what the fuck? Fuck these guys. What's all this? Amame, get inside Brahmin. Uh, okay. What the hell is going on? What the fuck? Hello? What's happening? Oh boy. Something tells me I'm going to need Don't my controller this for this. Much. It's not like there's a monster on the loose. That's exactly why we're here. We were told that there were two monsters here. What? What? Hello? And one of them might be related to terror. So we're here to detain them. Are they what? talking about Kenny? Most likely. Oh, come on. Who's the other person? You, ma'am. What? What? We were told you might resist. Oh, God. Dude, the boss double cross? What is happening? Normal police can't handle you, which is why we were called in. Who told you all this? The leader of Abyss, Miss Kuranushi. Ah! Oh. She's got me there. Boss, what the fuck? Why would you do that? Boss! <laughs> and this time we know it's boss. Do you plan to resist arrest? I don't like how these guys use violence to get what they want. So yeah, I'm not going down without a fight. Oh man. That is quite the contradiction. Yeah, boss really did hit the minus two. It's fucked up. Hey, quit wasting time. Let's do this. Huh? You're gonna put up a fight, aren't you? He did it again. Wait, why? How can he listen in on, on this? He's listening to our conversation. Does he know about Aiba? What the fuck? Let's do this. This is so weird. Oh boy. All right, here we go. Dude. Mizuki, you take care of the guys over there. I'll take care of these guys. That's the point! Literally none of them can aim for shit. Go, Mizuki, go! Go, go, go! Get him! Go, go, go! Oh no, they're getting Gen! Oh! 
Uh oh. What? Wait, what? Huh? Wait, what? Wait, brother? What? Another brother? What's going on? There's a second one! Holy shit! Who are you? I'm Gen. But you're over there too. I'll explain later. What the fuck? Oh my god, dude! How, yeah, how many fucking twins are in this game? We need to save him first. Oh, Dude, this is crazy! I Yeah, literally exact same getup. They literally just did copy and paste on the model, didn't what they? What the hell is going on, but fine. SAT is all over the street. Oh, man. It'd be hard to get through there. What do we do? I, out of all the characters that would have a twin, I was not expecting, uh, I was not expecting Gen to have an additional twin. That one, that's a, that's a complete fucking swerve to me. I never fucking knew. It was not even hinted. It was not even a thought in my brain that Gen was going to have a twin. It, it seems like most folks involved in Horadori have a twin. Is what I'm observing. Is what I'm observing personally. But uh, we'll save the discussion for after. Wait, I have an idea. Oh shit. Ryuki just had one naturally. Well, it's not even, not, not that I'm saying, what I'm trying to say is folks involved with the Horadori Institute. That, I'm not just saying like people who are made from the Horidori Institute. I'm, I'm I'm talking about people involving in the Horidori Institute. No time to explain. All right. Mizuki, follow my orders. Here we go. Equip scatter shot in your revolver. Why? Dude, the Iva plan. My favorite bit is when Iva has a fucking plan, dude. There's no time. Just do it. Here we go. Uh, okay. Dude, let's fucking go. Now, tell Gen this. There is a vending machine. Throw it to the other side of the street. Huh. A vending machine? Yes. It is a vending machine for pornographic magazines. <laughs> We're doing it again, dude! We're doing it again! Let's fucking go! <laughs> hey, Kenny! You see that vending machine? I get it. That's a good plan. You don't even have to say it. I've got it. Oh! This Ken can also listen in on the conversation, I, I think. Here I go. Mm -hmm. Let's go. Dude, uh, let's fucking go! I have told you to tell him. Yeah, but he already knew about the plan. Now, shoot it with scatter shot. I guess he just naturally assumed that it was going to be that. Okay, so that may be. Oh my god, dude, no fucking way! Porno man power! <laughs> <laughs> oh, he's got Dante powers, dude. He's got Dante powers. <laughs> dude, the, the other get nodding. I love this game. Oh my god. Let me guess. Is it 
It's Date. It's been Date this whole time. <laughs> Date? It's been Date, dude. Oh. All right. All right. Yeah, I thought, okay, I thought it was another twin. That's a great swerve. That is a great fucking swerve. I love that. Ah, yeah, that's how he heard our, our conversation. I'm not even going to, going to um, comment on, on the voice thing. It, it's clear that... You should be safe here for now. It's clear that, that Date has something to change the voice. So, you know, whatever. <laughs> yeah, it does explain like 500 things, doesn't it? You changed clothes? Yeah, Dante in the suit is hilarious with just his like head poking out. It's it's awesome. That outfit was so hard to move in with the wireframe and all the stuffing. <laughs> Dude, he's such a diva. I love him so much. If you want to pit nitpick voices, why does Dante sound like Saito? Same thing. I'm, I'm pretty sure they got something going on. That's yeah, that's what I that's what I mean. That's what I mean. It's the only reason those guys were able to beat me up. <laughs> so funny. Forget about that. <laughs> Why is he so gay? That's our Dante. There's so many questions I need answered. Oh yeah, I get a mask on top of a mask, which is really funny. I won't let you leave until I have them. What if I want to use the bathroom? <laughs> you can't just do that here. Yeah, just go in the corner. What if it's number two? Then I'll feed it to you. Damn! Look, all you have to do is talk to me. So let's hear it. Also, we're just not going to acknowledge that you've been away, buddy. All right. Oh, I should go back to my mouse. Uh, let's see. That's just a wall. Um, yeah, not much in terms of environment. Thank God. Uh, first off, okay, Amame doesn't have anything to say. It's the real Genny. All right, Date. It's super pervert Detective Date. Oh, God. Super pervert. Yeah, first and foremost, where the fuck have you been, bitch? The day of the explosion at the cathedral, I was captured by terror. Oh... What? Were you okay? If I wasn't, I wouldn't be here now. That's true. When I came to, I didn't know where I was. Oh. I don't know why Terror captured me. I wasn't sure if he was going to torture me for information and confidential police secrets. Or maybe he just wanted someone to play backgammon with. <laughs> oh my god, man. Anyway, I was held there for a whole day. Then, a white snake slithered into the room. Huh? When I saw that, I felt my power churning inside of me. A, a, a what? I'm sorry, what? Huh? What, what are you, what are you talking about? And that's how I was able to break out of the room I was being held in. Don't you remember his story? It's the snake from the porno mag origin story. Oh! How he got his porno powers, I, I forgot. Um, if your ass doesn't replay the whole game after this... See, that's the problem with, with playing this game for an extended period of time, right? Is that I'm just going to forget details from, I don't know, 13 fucking weeks ago? <laughs> huh. Hmm. Wait, wait. What's this about a snake? Oh, the snake? I'll tell you about it some other time. We'll binge it in full after. I think I'm going to have to take a break from I, the Zomnium Files for at least a little bit before replaying it. Mar, you got owned? Now I'm cool. I'll never get owned. Um. Okay, so we need... What was it? It was Brave... Was it Brave and... Impish, I think, were the two ones that we needed to, uh, we needed to do. Brave and Impish. 
You need to be able to talk to you. Uh, you could do that regardless. Um, brave and impish. How about slimy? God, fucking damn it! Oh man, I'm gonna, I'm gonna lose it. Oh well. Oh well. And what happened after? I had lost my memory, actually. What? Again? <laughs> wait, wait, what do you mean? What do you mean you lost your memory? Again? Are you are you good? Bro! I think when the ceiling collapsed, something fell in my head. Oh, man. Guy who is susceptible to losing his memory. Yeah, six years of memory loss? Again? You know that brain is fucking beyond belief. It's true. I had completely forgotten that I'm a special agent at Abyss. Bro! We need that Dante DLC. We fucking need that Dante DLC bad, dude. We need that Dante DLC. <laughs> I was like, oh, brother. I would not find it unbelievable that he could trip and lose his whole memory. Yeah, yeah, really. And then boss finds him and says, fucking again, man. All right. After I escaped, I wandered around the country. <laughs> oh, brother, dude. They literally should make DLC of his amnesic slice of life adventures. That's what I'm saying. I had no memories, so I took on day labor jobs. Before coming back here, I worked at a hot springs in Atami. He literally worked at Atami, bro! He was living the life! So you were there. <laughs> I'm, uh... <laughs> he went to Atami, dude! He knew, even if he loses his memory a second time, something remains inside of him at all times. Something will remain. And that is the desire to go to Atami. Every time. I really should have drowned him. <clears throat> oh, man. Did you get your memory back? I mean, I mean, come on. Yeah, I've got it back now. <laughs> and now, and now I sound way sexier. He remembers the booze behind the counter he wants to take to Atami. That's true. <laughs> I'm so tired of this, man. Not me. I love him. It was a few days ago when I saw the news about the stadium. February 10th, Jin Furaway's left half being found. Furaway. At that moment, I remembered everything. Remembers boobs, cannot remember daughter, Kaname Date. That's also true. That's right within the realm, huh? About my past, the HB case, everything. Your past? But I didn't return to Abyss right away. I decided to start my own investigation. Oh. Why? I thought there might be something fishy about Abyss. Oh. There's something going on in Abyss. I thought maybe Terror was involved somehow. I almost asked him how that would even be possible, but I stopped myself. It was Boss who sent in the SAT. So that's why you didn't contact us until now. I'm sorry for not telling you right away. Dude, the way <laughs> family I sleep, titties I woke. That's true. That is that is Dante Core. Um, how was I gonna say? Uh, yeah, the way that that Dante is voiced now is so like it's so sensual now. I don't know if I think I have made mention of this before, but um. The way he's voiced now is so much more sensual. Do you, do you feel that? I think I feel that. He's a little more smooth with it. Oh, what does this say? In the six years Date spent uh, wandering around, he had his silicone mask off. Okay. After getting his memory back, he started using it again. His reasoning was a hostess girl in... Uh, Nakamaguro remembers his face. Oh my god, I can't stand this man. <laughs> I hate him so much. I 
hate his stupid, beautiful face. Oh, both of them. <laughs> He's so fucking stupid. <laughs> it told me, kick his ass. Come on. He needs to be put down like a sick dog. Yeah, put down onto uh, bed sheets. <laughs> Uh, yeah, why were you taking on Genny's appearance? I knew that Horidori Institute and Nyes were involved with the HB case. Gen had connections with Horidori Institute and his acquaintances with Tokiko. <laughs> He'd like to be treated like a dog, all right? No, you're thinking Ryuki. You're thinking Ryuki. He's, he's the man who goes, woof, woof. So I asked Gen to let me borrow his appearance and his name. Do you remember, um... Do you remember when Lupin went went wolf wolf? DK, do you remember this? My friends and I replayed that part so many times because it was just it was just like killing us. It was it was like it, I think it was like Lupin like talking to to Fujiko, and Fujiko is like, okay, can you just like wait right here? He's like, okay, I'll wait right here. Woof woof. <laughs> Die banana also went woof woof. I don't remember that one. That's awesome. I thought it would make it easier for me to investigate Horidori Institute and Nice. True. He's our little horn dog. You should add Y at the end of horn. I, I think that'd be a little more closer to what that is. You didn't refuse, Genny? I can't say no to Date. <laughs> yeah. You can't say no to a pathetic piece of shit like Date. Come on. <laughs> none, none of us can. Um, so these last few days, you, were you Genny, Date? No, I wanted to investigate something else. The Blowjob Brothers. Oh, I love that there's so many pairings here that are just straight up the Blowjob Brothers. <laughs> oh my God. This game makes me so fucking happy, dude. So I wasn't Gen the whole time. Gen, Date, and Lien are the ultimate blowjob brothers, that's true. Yesterday, or technically two days ago now, the 13th, that was actually me. Oh. It's okay, Amame. I made an oath. I will protect you with my life. The fellatio fellas. So don't you worry about a thing. Um... Oh, yeah, there it is. I know that Nyes is trying to do something crazy. <laughs> They're going to do something crazy. But I still haven't been able to find terror. The only real lead I have is the body that was found at Brahman. But I don't know who it is or how it got there. Oh, you don't know? Because I know. <laughs> I'm already one step ahead of you, Kaname Date. I wanted to ask Gen about it. Oh, well, I guess we got to talk to Gen now. Yeah, why is there a corpse in the freezer, man? There's no way to actually tell which scenes are Date versus Gen, but when you replay, you can piece together which ones are. It ends up explaining a lot of weird things that Gen says slash doesn't know uh, here and there. Interesting. That corpse. I carried it to the freezer. Oh, shit. I locked it and threw the key into the ocean. Oh Where did shit! You find the corpse. I can't tell you. Why not? Even if it means getting arrested, I can't tell you. Huh? It's okay, Kenny. Amame. Wait, what does what does Amame know? Yeah. No, Amame. I'm sorry for all the trouble I've caused, Kenny. Wait, Amame, how involved are you in the HB case? I can't take it anymore. <sighs> I asked Genny to carry the corpse to Brahmin six years ago. 
Huh. And hide it in the freezer. But why? That body. My father found it. What? Yonoharu Enda? Mizuki, right. You know? That's right. I I almost forgot. I almost forgot that that Yeah, holy fuck, man. Oh my god, I I almost completely fucking forgot. It's all really coming together, huh? Oh my god, man. Did Shoma tell you? Yeah. 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 Assuming her story is true, that aligns with Terror's diary. I haven't been here in a minute. <laughs> now I'm gonna spoil the game for myself. Sorry, Planter Plant. We are in extremely deep territory. I mean, we are at part 14 of this playthrough. The person who took the corpse really was Yonaharu Enda, AKA Andy's Komeji. Wait, what does Komeji have to do with the half body killings? It's okay, I just really like your stream, so I'm conflicted. Oh, that's very sweet of you to say, though. Thank you very, very much. I mean, if you want to hang out, that's cool. If not, then, you know, that's okay as well. <laughs> we are part 14 of 72. Shut up! That's how and why he became a target. Yeah, why did Komeji steal the car? Oh, wait, that was probably what was in the fucking briefcase, dude. Oh, that was probably what was in the fucking case. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Do you like this game? Oh, yeah. My father had a huge debt. He borrowed money from bad people. They told him. Listen, Andy Skomeji, your dear little boy is in elementary school, isn't he? If you don't pay the money you owe in one month, we're taking him and selling him overseas. Jesus. Am I clear? That's fucked, man. He was gonna blackmail Terror for money? Yes. When he found the body, he was really drunk. He saw Jin Furroway's body at the studio. And then, early the next morning, he found the other corpse at the rooftop amusement park. Wow. He told me something came over him, and he just... did it. Oh my god, yeah, and how did, how did you end Six up with the body? Six years ago on the 11th, my father called me home. The floorboards were overturned, and in the floor was the suitcase. Yep, there it is. Shomo wasn't home at the time. My father was just standing there. No expression. The corpse was in that suitcase? Oh my god, why would you call upon a mommy to do anything involving that, man? Oh my god, that's so fucked. Yeah. I think after he sobered up, he realized the mistake he made. Oh no. I have to play the first game. I've been planning to play it. You don't have to know too much about the first game, but I would recommend playing the first game for sure. <laughs> yeah, no no worries, plant your plant. There'll be plenty of Mars streams, especially next week. Cause I got I got plenty of streams to go. Um we still need to return to uh Bomb Rush uh Cyberfunk. Oh man. He didn't know what to do, so he called me. What happened next? I know nothing about the first. I've enjoyed this uh, this game. Yeah, it's pretty good. He told me everything that he did. You should definitely check out the uh, the I the Somnium Files vods on the vods channel. They're all they're all uh, really 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 good. I fucking love that first game so much. Bye, Planter Plant. Have a good one. Oh my God! You're so stupid. You know that. That expression, holy shit. I don't think I've ever seen a mommy make that expression before. You're like the stupidest bottom feeding dad ever! Jesus. Uh, I'm sorry. Sorry isn't going to fix this! It's fine. I'll take care of it. 
Damn, to put that on your daughter? Like, Jesus. I know. I I feel for Komeji, but he he seriously fucked up. He he fucked up big time, man. So you took the body to Gen's place. Eldest daughter syndrome, true. Yes. So Genny did nothing wrong. I asked him to do it. A mummy. Well, I mean, that does prove that, like, both of you are innocent, but... Man, that does complicate things a lot, though. I wonder where this is going to lead us. Okay, I get it. Genny was staying quiet to protect you, Mame. But I need to know more. I want to ask one more thing. It's... Huh? Dads in the series fuck up a lot, huh? That's ha that's true. It's almost like a recurring bit. We can continue this later. Uh, huh? This is an emergency. Wait, what happened? What's the going on? The building has been surrounded. Uh-oh. What? The song! My favorite song. Da -da -da -da. Dude, I love this song so much. Da -da -da -da. Da -da -da -da. Thanks for the show. A true monster, just like the rumors. It was quite the spectacle. But enough is enough. Dude, what the fuck is going on at Abyss for all of this to happen? Our team is equipped with live rounds. Please surrender, or else... Or else what? You gonna shoot us to death? I'd like to see you try. Mizuki, you're being irrational. What are you planning? Oh boy. Oh shit, okay. I've never seen that round before. Something tells me I'm gonna need my... I'm going to stun grenade them and get past them while they're immobilized. Uh, something tells me I'm gonna need my, my controller for this one. Are Let's you see. serious? Even if you get past them, what will you do after that? Do you plan on running away forever? All four of us? Mizuki, I agree with Aiba. <laughs> get out of my head! Oh! Get out! <laughs> Leave me alone! Mizuki. <laughs> ah! There's no point trying to fight our way out of this. <laughs> I'm a help! Help me! <laughs> uh, uh, Tati is, intr is 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 invading and being my intrusive thought right now, dude. T H O T. <laughs> God, dude. We should just raise the white flag. <laughs> dude, can that be the raid phrase? The intrusive thought. <laughs> I'm writing it down, dude. <laughs> oh, fuck. Oh, my God. That's so fucking funny. Oh, God, dude. I wrote it down. I will not forget. Fuck, that's so good. Okay. All right. Yeah, it looks like we're at a loss for this one. Uh, what the? Mommy! What are you doing, girl? Run, Kenny! A mummy. Don't be stupid. Be back. What the mommy. fuck? Drop your gun! What? Hello? A mummy! Kenny! If that's how it's gonna be, I'll create an opening for you. A mummy, you run through it, okay? Huh? What is 
Oh, no. Not a, not a single person will shoot their gun. Oh, man. Stop! And he didn't do anything wrong! He's a kind person! He didn't do anything wrong! This is all my fault! No! Mommy! Jesus! Open fire! Oh my god! Oh my god! Uh-oh. I fear the worst. Uh-oh. <gasps> oh no! Oh god, no! Amame, are you okay? Yes, but Kenny, you're... Don't you worry about me. As long as you're okay. That is... Dude! Kenny! That's my fucking boy. I fucking love Gen, man. Holy shit. Yeah, what the fuck is... Boss, what the fuck? Kenny! Kenny! Stay with me! Amame, I have a favor to ask. Can you sing me that song? Oh, man. What song? The flower that blooms in snow. Oh, Iba! Iba, no! Iba's sad. Oh. Late at night, I get a call from you. Satellites circle and fade from view. My voice wavers and my words fail me. So I. In the dark, the shadows settle in. We can bark, but cannot see a thing. Rejoice, we're not alone. You are renewed. Everyone is here with you. Dude, oh seven. Mame. Oh, seven, bro. I don't think I can talk much longer. So I wanted to tell you something. Oh, sorry, hold on. I have to take this real quick.
why didn't they disable it? Holy shit, man. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> it was just reflex. It really was just reflex. It, it came up so naturally. Oh my god. Hey, you guys gonna fucking go away? You literally killed one of my friends, you fucking assholes. Oh, fuck. Oh, my God. I'm gonna fucking cry, man. I'm gonna cry, but not for the story reasons. <laughs> oh, the weak sick. Oh, no, man. Oh, no. Oh, fuck. Oh, my God. Oh. Oh, fuck. Oh, man. I I'm so sorry, Jet. Oh, fuck. <laughs> I liked you as a friend. Oh. At least, that's what I told myself. But I truly loved. I just couldn't accept it. Even after I realized it, I acted like a friend. <clears throat> Treated you almost like a daughter. That's how I acted around you. It was the first time in my life I felt like this. Oh, maybe, um, maybe it was good that I actually answered my, t my, uh, Tamagotchi. I didn't know what to do. Jenny, you're so cute. What about me is cute? I'm as rugged as my name suggests. Yeah, I'm gonna, I'm gonna, yeah, this, like, literally the character assassination right at the end. Damn. But I like that about you. I like how big and strong you are. Just being near you makes me feel safe. <laughs> that would change real quick if I took off my mask. No, that's not true. Yeah, Gen deserves better. For sure. He deserves better. I, I am shaking my head at this. I'm actually so happy that I that I brought up my Tamagotchi. That was like way better than whatever whatever the hell this is. I think your face is nice too. <clears throat> oh man. Yeah, this is super out of character. I actually super disagree with this. I like you whether or not you have a mask on. I, I get what they're trying to do, but I don't I don't agree with it. I get what they're trying to do uh, in terms of Gen's, like, um, character character development, but it's not the way. There's there's so, so many better ways they could have done this, in my opinion. Like, they, there's so many different ways that they could have handled this part of his character development. Um, instead... They, yeah, they really did stick them with, um, oh, actually, I, like, loved you. Even though that's super fucking weird. Oh, man. She probably <clears throat> likes me as a friend. Okay, this, this is, oh, man. Or maybe it's something more childish, like her stuffed animal or pet. But I was okay with that. Yeah, Gen is the as dad. As long as it meant being with her. Again, I I see what they are trying to do. It does not fucking work. It doesn't work. Yeah, this is worse than than Bell. I I I actually completely agree with you. I I completely agree with you. And then she came to me for help. The situation was dire, but my god, this is the longest two seconds of my life. It made me so, <clears throat> so happy. But it was fleeting. I knew nothing would come of it. I am hideous after all. Oh god, how could you be so cruel? I wish I never realized how I truly felt. Nothing happens, nothing's there. Yeah, age is listed as question mark, but even, like, even with the age, like, the potential age gap that's happening, like, 
I think just based off of the previous, like, interactions that we've had with this character, this is, like, a completely different pivot for this. Like, they, they could be closer in age, but, like, throughout everything that we've had throughout uh, the entire game with their dynamic and their dialogue that they've been sharing, um, this is completely, like, out of character. And I, and I super, super, super... Uh, don't agree with this like it's it's yeah you could do you can do exactly you know what robin has it perfect because you can do a beauty and the beast allegory without it being romantic in my opinion 100 percent. that is yeah it's it's super like it's not good i wanted to live a plain dull life <clears throat> I wanted to die quietly, alone. And now, everything that's hurt me before means nothing. Everything that's hurt me before is or I guess nothing. Not, not like out of character, just, now. just like out of sync with what's been happening throughout the story. If that, if that makes sense. You know what I'm saying? Not like out of character, but more like it's hard for me to explain because I'm not good with it with English, but yeah, it's it's um it's particularly uh not I think consistent. That's the word I think I'm looking for. It's a bad writing choice, it's not as consistent throughout everything we've seen with these characters. Oh god, why are you so cruel to me? She'll never love me. She's precious, pure. Innocent. Why did you have to show uh -huh. her to me, God? Uh-huh. I resent you, Creator. I curse you for this terrible fate you've given me. This is getting weird, Gen. No. No, I can't. That's not the truth. He's talking about Ujikirji. I, I am grateful to God. I... I met you. My fate... was meeting you. Genny! Uh, umame. <laughs> Again, Christian moments? Oh, man. I... am... truly... Alright, so we're gonna ignore that entire wink sink, right? Happy. We're just gonna ignore that wing sink. It sounds sounds great. Yeah. All right. Awesome. No. No. Yeti. 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 <laughs> Salty wins yet again. that an ending? Amame's voice actress is so talented. Yes, Faye is very, very, very talented. That is Faye. Yeah, not not one of my not one of my favorite endings. Probably probably the worst ending in the game so far. last 20 minutes never happened just the wing sink i'm just going to i'm just going to ignore the wing sink yeah pro zd did act the fuck out of that there the, the thing is the performance is really good it's just the material the material is like you know gen and date fight was fun as hell though it was good it was good all right your ass is gone. Nah, I'm good. There it is. Gan and Amame route. End. Yay! We did it! Oh, shit. Now's the question. Do you want to save the full route for next week? Or do an awkward cut in the middle? 
Oh, shit. Because, yeah, this is pretty much the final, uh... That's the final one, isn't it? There are places in it to pause. You can start it. We've only been streaming for about, like, two hours, though. We've only been streaming for about two hours. That is, that's a super, super short marsh stream. Meaty section we just had. 2.5, if you want to get technical with it. This section is a hefty six hours. Hmm. That, that seems, you, pr you probably won't want to stop if you start. That's what I'm thinking too, right? Plus, ending on a on a part 15, digital root being 6. Hmm. I... Oh, man. I think go until a pause. You could do something else and do the final part next week. That's what I was thinking, too, is like, what if I... What if I do something else for the night? Because I'm not... I'm not finished. I'm not finished with streaming. Need a more fun place to stop the stream? I say go until a pause. Do Char, do you know the exact place where you think I should pause? Yeah? Okay. Then you know what? How about we do the beginning of this chapter and we'll go exactly where Char thinks I should pause. I think I think that might be the uh, the best choice. You can't end on an Usagi drop moment. I have no idea what that means. <laughs> I have no idea what that means. Don't worry. Okay. I think it's time, y'all. I think it's time. How about? We start the beginning of the end. That way we know next week, 100%. 100%, that is when we know that it is the final, final, final Uchikoshi Sunday. All right. Shall we? Forever? Well, at least until uh, the uh, the Ever series gets remade. Oh, you came. Good. Oh. Oh, my God. The double emote only mode? Okay. Very, very, very scary. Want something to drink? With water? On the rocks? You don't have to be shy. It's on me. Uh, huh? What's what's going on? Are we not playing as Are we not playing as Mizuki? It's such a bizarre case, the HB serial killings. Who are we? That being said, the facts are fairly straightforward. Pointing out a culprit can't be too hard. Do you already know? Terror. Who are they, really? Who is Terror? Ah. Oh. Do the music? Okay. Uh, we definitely can't click on anything here. Um. <laughs> Mama? <laughs> Wait. Oh. Hold on a minute. Okay, so we we got to be playing as as Mizuki cuz it says I was room right here, but it's offline, so maybe it isn't. Oh. Huh. Anyways, yep. You got me. I wanted to slurp on the juices of young men, which is why I sliced them in half. D damn, mama. Okay. <laughs> Case solved, I guess. Oh, come on. There's no way. <laughs> it's okay, Baba. We forgive you. We love you. Besides, 
Komeji and Shikara are not young. Okay. Care to give a more serious answer? Sure. Um. Huh. Uru Samazuki. Right. Uru. Oh, wait. That, that's right. I forgot. Wait, no. I didn't want to... I actually didn't want to choose that one. Wait, hold on. I forgot. I forgot. I forgot. Oops. Just keep going. Nah, it's fine. You're thinking. Yep. I, I, get, to, I get to hear, I I get to hear this again, so. Who is Terror? We're never making it out of here. That's literally the correct answer, isn't it? I want to say Tokiko. I see. She was involved in the HB case, but I don't think she did the deed. I want to hear every... I want to hear every fucking... Uh, I want to hear everything. Uh, wait, hold on. Why would it be Jin? Why not? He was the first victim. But that's awesome. Anyways, okay. Right. Uru. Okay, there we go. We know he killed at least three people. Jin Furue. Chikara Horadori. Andy's Komeji. Mm -hmm. But why did he kill them? I don't know. Why are you asking me? I need the killer. What was his goal? Why did Terror kill them? Hold. Okay. What the fuck? What is. Hello? He wasn't some noble philanthropist. We're gonna be here for three hours? Ooh, you hate the way I play. Ooh. That has nothing to do with anything. You hate it. Let's see. For personal enjoyment. I don't think Uru had that kind of hobby. Hmm. To get revenge or for the Nirvana initiative. I would oh, say that's to get true, I suppose. Yeah. But that wasn't the main reason. That, yeah, okay. Nirvana That's initiative. Right. The Nirvana initiative. The loony plan to have humans reach Moksha. That's why Uru killed the three of them. We can put aside the little details for now. The most concerning aspect of the whole thing is the time difference. Okay. The left and right sides of the victims were found six years apart. Oh my god. Oh my god. Wait, can we get off can we get off emote only mode? Hi everybody. Wait, get it off emote only mode. Okay. Go, 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 go. Hold on. Hi everybody. Uh welcome to the stream. Uh it's your boy Margatoto. Um I, uh, also, if Penny is here, happy fucking birthday, Penny. Well, one of, one of the, the best people ever. One of the people I love so very, very, very dearly. Um, <laughs> I love you. <laughs> I love you, Penny. I hope you had a wonderful, wonderful birthday. Um, and, uh, and listen, listen, listen. Uh, guys... If you don't know who I am, my name is Markatoto. I am a, a little pink VTuber fella. I, you may have seen me on, on a few of Penny's videos here and there. Um, we are in the middle of, I'm, I'm gonna say straight up, ginormous fucking spoilers. Huge spoilers. G fucking spoilers like you won't believe. We are in essentially end game in uh, I, the Somnium Files Nirvana Initiative. Thank you so much for the follows, y'all. That's a that's a lot of people following the channel. 
Um, it is, it is, uh, huge spoiler territory. So, if, uh, if you want to play this game for yourself, uh, I would recommend following this channel and then, um, coming back another day. I will be streaming next week, um, as, as soon as, like, Tuesday. So, uh, you can follow this channel. I'll probably be playing, actually, on Tuesday, I'll probably be playing, uh, Bomb Rush Cyberfunk. Um, because I am in love with that game. I fucking love that game so much. So, hey, if you aren't going to stick around, hit me up with a follow. Follow me on Twitter, if you're still on Twitter. That's twitter.com slash markatoto. If you're not on Twitter, follow me on Tumblr. That's markatoto.tumblr.com. Um, you could follow me, uh, or you could check out my art, my art Tumblr, art.markatoto.com. Thank you, uh, Dynamite Ghost for the follow. Thank you to everyone. Um, and yeah, we will be streaming more very, very, very soon. Um, but yeah, we are in deep, deep spoiler territory, um, for this game called, uh, I, the Somnium Files Nirvana Initiative. Is that a character named Mama? Oh, absolutely. Mama is the fucking best. She's, she's awesome. I love her so much. Um, with that being said, this is your, uh, your, your warning. I got a bounce in that case, but I hope you have a wonderful stream. Thank you, Benny. Thank you. Let's hang out soon. Um, and, uh, and also, uh, let's hang out for your birthday soon. Or something. I don't know. <laughs> I'll figure it out. Okay, bye, Benny! Everybody wish Penny a happy birthday right now! Everybody wish happy birthday, Penny! Before, before we go back into emote only. Bye, Benny! We love you! Look at that. Look at all those wonderful, wonderful people. Look at that. You guys are so, so, so nice to my friends. Um, okay. With that being said, let's hit up the old emote only mode. And we are going to hop right back in. Let's fucking do it. Regarding the first victim, the facts are already in. Six years ago, on February 10th. Thank you for the, uh, for the follow, Pocket Pants. Jin Furaway's body fell from the ceiling of Divita. Furaway. And this year, five days ago, also on the 10th, Uru Somizuki's left half was found at the stadium, not Jin's. Plastic surgery and complete organ transplants. Ah. Huh. It fooled the investigators into thinking they were the same person. But what about the other victims? Interesting. Chikara, Komeji, Tokiko. How do you explain those three? I don't. I don't know how you explain those three. She's so bad. You have good intuition. You might already know. Oh, what the fuck? Hold on, can I can I take this real quick? What haunted spot would you like to go to? Uh, okay, so something brave and impish. Something brave and impish. I'm gonna say graveyard. Fuck. Okay, we still have a chance with impish. Okay, hold on. Why did it seem like their bodies appeared after six years appeared? Because Tokiko made miracles happen. Ryuki and Mizuki were hallucinating. Also referring to the two other characters. That's interesting. Professor Brown. <laughs> Professor Brown. <laughs> oh, hmm. The timeline was not in the correct order. That's interesting. Okay, hold on. We do need to check out the other, uh, 
the other dialogues here. Hold on. Who is Professor Brown? <laughs> Could you please not introduce a new character out of nowhere? <laughs> Who is Professor Brown? They were hallucinating? No, no way. not hallucinations. The right and left half of their bodies were found. No doubt about that. Okay. Because Tokiko made miracles happen. Oh, you've been brainwashed. That's, I mean, I, I mean, that's, yeah, but she's cool. You can't be taking Tokiko seriously, honey. It's all a lie. What? Wait, what do you mean? What do you mean? Probably. Oh. <laughs> I love, probably. And there's the real answer. Right. Left. In other words, it's not like that. Oh. Oh. It's like this. Oh my god! The fucking Uchi Koshi's trick! What the fuck? No fucking way, man! The Uchi Koshi's trick? Oh my god, okay, I'm realizing. I'm realizing what certain events happen. Cause it's not like, it's not like he stopped. How can I say it? It's not that Ryuki stopped investigating. He was still investigating this fucking entire time. So, Oh my god, this motherfucker Uchi Koshi. This goddamn motherfucker always knows how to pull a swerve. But then, how does it explain? Hmm. How does it explain Mizuki's appearance in the past? If that's the case, let's see. Let's let's see how how the game is going to treat this. Hold on. This is the timeline that you actually experienced. Oh, we're just we are just straight up the player in the game, huh? The red and blue lines are intertwined, almost like DNA. Ah, oh. you started on the red line from the top. Uh-huh. And then followed the blue line, which led you to this point. <laughs> Wait a minute. Let me let me take a look at that flow chart. So right? So this was 6 years ago. I guess I was under the assumption that everything that happened on this side of the timeline was happening 6 years ago. But only certain events would happen. So what is the significance of the switch up then? Hmm. So then this one would happen on this side over here. So uh, basically all of these have okay. Hmm. Hold on. My brain is is racking but it's not processing. You got to look at the image. Hmm. So that's when, oh God. You've traversed four X's. Right, okay. The left side is six years ago and the right side is this year. Right, okay. So I, I am correct on assuming that the left side is six years ago. Okay. To make things easier, we'll call the left side past and the right side present. In other words, you came here, jumping back and forth between past and present, a day at a time, all to end up here. Interesting. Okay. I mean, that still doesn't explain why Mizuki's appearance is, is the older appearance rather than the younger appearance, right? So I'm very, very, very curious as to how they'll explain that. Now do you understand? Chikara's right half was found the night of the 11th, in the past. 
Hmm. His left half was found the next morning. Right, and we naturally assume that that other half was happening in the future. There wasn't anything in the in the dialogue that would um, suggest that it was happening six years after. Okay. Komeiji's right half was found on the 13th. Yeah, they never did say that. Only for Jin. Jin was the... Oh my god, the fucking semantics fucking got me again, dude. His left half was found the next morning at 6 a.m. Six years have passed, and now we're here. Right. In the present, Tokiko's right half was found on February 12th. So it's not that Tokiko died six years ago, it was that Tokiko has been alive until this week. Literally until this week in which she got torn in half. We just naturally assumed that through through our, our perceived timeline that she died six years ago, but that is not the case. Okay. Oh, that's so fucking interesting. The next day, a little past midnight, her left half was found in the basement of Horidori Institute. Long story short, the left and right halves weren't found six years apart. Right. They were all found soon after each other. Nothing supernatural here. Damn! Okay, I'm... I, here's the thing. I'm actually a little alleviated uh, that there's nothing supernatural going on. There's no, like, uh, fucking, like, teleport theory or anything like that. It's, I actually love that it's literally just, oh, because the way that you perceive the timeline, uh, there was an assumption. There was an assumption that, that, uh, each half was found six years apart. It's really, really, really fucking good. That does explain how Tokiko is alive at certain points. Why Tokiko, um, can appear just like out of nowhere. So that does explain that. Uh, it's due to, to our, our perceived timeline. Why couldn't she? She hasn't died yet. Exactly. It's an, yeah, entirely playing on, on the assumptions, which is really, really fucking cool. That is so good. But I guess now my question is, okay, there it is. So now it's going to the true flow chart. There it is. Thank you for the follow, by the way. This is a chart that shows the flow of the story in chronological order. The true flow chart can be checked from menu flow chart. Oh man. That's fucking wild. Okay. So this is six years ago. So why does Mizuki look like that then? Why does Mizuki look like that six years ago? Is it something with... Hmm... Maybe it's because... I'm like trying to think. Maybe it's because... I'm trying to think if there's any sections here where we see Mizuki in full body, but... No, we totally do. Are you a bad enough dude to realize? I definitely am not a bad enough dude. I am no Ryan, unfortunately. Ryan is a much smarter person than I am. Interesting. So we are here right now. How much do you remember from the last stream? Not much. Let's see. So, okay. So this is the true timeline. Hmm. Let's see. I guess we can click on each of them. Early in the morning, there's a report body found in Yoyagi Park. Mizuki heads there and sees Chikara's left half on a stone monument. And it's a challenge from Terror. Find the three, red, uh, the three and red blue balloons. I do remember that. Suki so decides to go to uh, Gen's brain. Um, 
Oh, oops. And then that's the Somnium. I remember that. And then this is in the basement where we find, uh, we find the two bodies here. And then, yeah, we learn about TC Purge. Oh, but why does Mizuki look like that? Hmm. I'm wondering... Do we ever meet Masked Woman during any of these particular... During any of these particular time um, switched options here? I'm like trying to think. Have we been playing as Masked Woman as during these fucking segments? There's no way. There's no fucking way. But that would mean... Hmm. That would mean Masked Woman was uh, using Iba, and that can't be true. Because we would have known that, right? We would have known if, if Iba was talking to a different, uh, different Abyss investigator. And also her eye now is like completely different. Hmm. Pick up? Wait, what? Oh my god, this motherfucker is calling me. <laughs> I, okay, what? I just, I just want to correct some, one thing for you before you get uh, too confused. Because you were saying you found Tokiko's body. You will see the images of the body in the times you find the body. That image of Lien and Mizuki going in the basement, it is not that. It is the day afterwards. Midnight passes passes before you find the body. Right. Okay. Which means it is on the other side, so that's... It's on the other right side, so, it, so it's yeah. not in this, in this particular timeline here. Yes. Okay. Very hmm. important that you, uh... You pay attention to when the days change and the years change. Okay. Is that it? Yeah, unless you need me to remind you of anything else that happened in the past in any of these scenes. I I am... Uh, I guess my main confusion right now is how Mizuki's appearance uh, uh, remains the same. Yeah. That is the main thing I'm I'm trying to wrap my head around. I am just here to uh, serve as your memory that you don't remember. Okay. I do have pretty bad memory. I have a I have Date style memory. <laughs> yeah. So don't don't think about the Mizuki thing right now. It's just like now with this timeline, what are the events? What does this mean for the events that have happened now? Right. Damn. Now I guess that does that explain why. At certain points, Ryuki seems more unstable. You could say that. Uh, do you want to? Do you want one really fun one? Can you go to the end of uh, the thirteenth? Uh, the end of the thirteenth. Okay. This one looks like she just sent someone into the Smash Brothers no, blast not the, zone. On Ryuki's side. Okay, I did just want to say that though. So <laughs> yes, it does look like the blast zone. So do you remember what happens at the end of this? Uh, let's see. Find Shoma and the three girls from Sekiba High, along with Komeji's right half in a body bag. Shoma screams and runs out. Ryuki goes to the amusement park to look for him. He sees Shoma run into the Ferris wheel and... Okay, now go to the next one. Uh, the one down below. Oops, not that side. It should, it should, uh... Put you on the previous, uh, the next year because that is what you see next in the game's order. Mm hmm. Uh, so you can click on summary here, it should also give you what happens. At dawn, Komeji's left half is found at Misatan. Uh, Mizuki heads to the scene to start her investigation. As a result, she finds out that at 5 a.m. on the 11th, there oh, was a trespasser okay. acting strangely. But this, this okay, so it doesn't say here, but this is also the part where you go and you meet Shoma in the hospital. 
Right. Uh, and, it, and they talk about how Ryuki found him and took him to the hospital in his limousine because he wasn't mentally stable. Huh. Okay. Interesting. Um. Oh, the the fucking. You also see Date the... in this part. Right. Oh, maybe that's why Date wasn't so like like we weren't just um. How can I say it? You weren't so shocked that Date was here. I mean, if you look at this order, he doesn't go missing until the next day. He doesn't go missing until the next day. So it's only until what we just witnessed uh, where we finally yell at Date, what the fuck happened six years ago? Now look at the, the Ryuki at the beginning of the 14th uh, in the future. Do you remember what happens in the beginning of this scene? Around midnight on the 14th, Tama announces that it's Valentine's Day, but Ryuki doesn't care. He stands out in front of the Ferris wheel, waiting for Shoma to get out. Shoma wasn't even on the Ferris wheel. He, he disappeared. How? It is now morning. Has Ryuki been, like, reenacting the past in the present? Is that what the fuck has been going on? He's getting his own, like, timeline in his head all mixed up. Which is why it caused us to uh, to perceive the timeline in a in a in a different way. You know, it's also very funny. You know, the Mizuki scene with the rocket going on. Do you remember what happens to Ryuki in that scene? Because you do get you do see Ryuki after the masked woman insomnium. You see him right. on the roof of Misaton. What what happens to Ryuki during that scene? Well, he gets knocked the fuck out, right? <laughs> yeah, the masked woman punches the shit out of him. Right. Okay. And That's when an you go and you find point. him, he's extremely fucked in the head. Damn. Yeah, so this this happened. Let's see. Out of nowhere, the masked woman beats up Ryuki. Okay, that's generous to say. You could just say, uh, knock the shit out of this kid. Uh, Mizuki is shocked. As a result of their search, they find the rocket. Unfortunately, it's too late. Terror mocks them and claims that the, that the rehearsal has been a success. Interesting. I'm like trying to, I am trying to piece it together in my head. Cause this is a lot of information oh, and a this, lot of hey, weeks that I don't remember. This is why you have to replay this game with the memory of what the actual days are. Mm -hmm. uh, w the more I play this game, the more things piece together. And the more I realize that nothing in this game is written just because. Uh, it is absolutely all on purpose to make this timeline work. Right. Uh, oh one more God. fun one. Do you remember uh, when when Ryuki says he loves Date, uh, that scene? Do you remember what the last thing Date says to Ryuki is? That you weren't exactly sure what it meant? No. What did he say? Uh... Before Date is crushed by the rock, uh, he says, just w let me ask you one more thing. Was it you who ran away the other day, Ryuki? And Ryuki doesn't answer. Then he's crushed by the rock. And Ryuki goes, I loved him and I betrayed him. Uh, hey, go up one day. Oh, wait, that's Iris. Oops. No, the day before. Uh, it would be a Mizuki game. Uh, it would be a Mizuki side. Jin Furuwei's parents were Tokiko and Chikara. Terra Sink revealed this. However, it was unknown to Terra. Uh, seems he looked up to Tokiko and even called her mom. Oh, I think it, it happened uh, before the sink. Oh. You see Ryuki before the sink happens. Uh, well, this is the sink into terror. Yeah. When Date first walks in. Uh, okay, wait, hold on. Uh, someone removed the left half of the state body from the stage. It was Komeji. Komeji was trying to blackmail Terra with the body. Mizuki finds more clues to continue her investigation. Around 11 p.m., Lien informs her of Kizuna's disappearance. Using GPS, they track her phone. Mizuki heads to the abandoned factory. There she finds Terra. She gets in, uh, in a fight with armed enemies. Mizuki fights them off with ease. Uh, but immediately after, she's immobilized by Ryuki's stun bullet, which I remember. Date comes into the rescue, which is where I, I specifically mentioned, hey, what the fuck, Date? Where the fuck have you been for six years? Which is 
now not the case because this was six years ago. Terror's knocked out uh, after being shot by Date's tranquilizer. Mizuki then decides to go into Terror's brain to find out where Kizuna went. Very um, <laughs> right. Okay. Very uh, Ryuki leaves the scene after Date walks in by jumping out the window. If you remember. Right. Yes. He he looked at Date and said, oh, fuck. And then jumped out of the window like a fucking weirdo. So, of course, uh, was it you who ran away the other day? You know. Is it you who ran away the other day? Interesting. Date and uh, Ryuki are stuck in the rubble. Date gives Ryuki his broken Aiba and disappears under the falling rubble. Y y Ryuki lets out a howling cry. Huh. Okay. Lots of things to think about. <laughs> Yeah. Holy now shit. you sort of are able to piece together the actual events of what has happened, which is the beginning of the HB case, uh, Chikara dies, uh, and then they find Terra's balloons afterwards. Uh, and then after that, uh, Komeji is killed because he's taking away the body and gets caught by Terror when, uh, when you're on the route where you're not able to save him. And right. then at the end, Shoma runs away. And the next morning, Ryuki obviously does find Shoma after the wheel, uh, after the Ferris wheel and takes him to the hospital. And then now they're following uh, the trail. Kizuna is missing now. And so they follow her GPS and go to the warehouse where it turns out that Ryuki has talked about how he's had a secret meeting with someone on part of the HB case, which you find from wink sinking him. That it was terror and it was a trap, and Ryuki is now being threatened by terror and under its control. Yes. Uh, Mizuki gets electrocuted. Uh, then you go into the. Uh, then Date the next morning calls Ryuki, says something about there's a man of, in an iron mask at Sosajima's place. So he goes there, finds Iris. You do the Iris Somnium, and then there's a whole thing. It's in the execution chamber in which Ryuki pieces together. That that is the uh, abyss of nine X's, and then uh, leads them there. And <laughs> oh, no, another thing, Dante says before he's crushed is, uh, "How did you know that Terror was the man in the Iron Mask?" Which you, the player, would think, "Well, obviously you saw it when you wink sink Uh That happens in the future. So no, right. you actually didn't. Ryuki actually saw Terror. Uh. It, Ryuki actually sees Terror uh, in the fucking uh, at the warehouse, and right. when he meted him, and when he met him secretly. Yes, that makes that makes sense. Okay, interesting. And then in the future, Mizuki picks the case back up. Uh, Ryuki is supposed to be on leave, but he's suddenly it seems to be investigating, which you find mm -hmm. him on the roof later. Uh, also, the scene where he sinks into Tokiko. In which, if you replay that scene, it is only Pewter there who goes, Ryuki, are you sure you're allowed to do this? And he says, it's important. I have to. And then afterwards, she's found dead. He goes into the basement. He falls. Uh, and the next morning, you don't... you. He is nowhere to be found until you see him on the rooftop. Right. That also means that that is the time when he gets sprayed by that box. And mm -hmm. then you, after he gets sprayed by that box, you don't see him again in the future until the rooftop. Mar, do you remember when Ryuki shot Mizuki? Yes. Yes, I do remember that. Yes. Uh, um, another very, very fun one. I think you saw this dialogue, but I doubt you remember it. Remember when this is the first time, I think, in most people's playthroughs where they realize something is weird. Do you remember when Boss was super mad at Ryuki and demoted him? Yes, I, and I do remember that. How the day before, what you see is him uh, investigating Tokiko's body and then going down and falling. Uh, what happens on the actual timeline now? It's the balloon investigations. What, huh. what, do you, what do you know from Mizuki's side that Ryuki fucked up during that investigation? Uh, fucking... Oh, God. Sorry. I, I, I can't. I, I don't know. <laughs> Hey, remember when he shot that guy? Oh, right. He hey, accidentally shot that dude. When you're in boss's office, if you click on one of the balloons, the dialogue that Ryuki does is he goes, 
at them. Wow. <laughs> because the reason that boss actually demotes him is because he shot someone. <laughs> right. Okay. That so that's a an incident that happens in the present. Yes. Holy and, fuck. And that leads into him getting desperate and then uh following terror and getting tricked by terror. And and we were we were treating that whole situation like like oh man, like, boss oh, is he's like fucked in the head. Like he's fucked in the head, like boss is like almost like it feels like boss is overreacting uh a little it bit. It really feels like boss is being too mean to you, which is like the, because that is the uh like first time where you start to notice the weird uh events. Yeah. It's very, it's very funny. That's, oh my god, that's fucking cool. You can also hear in Ryuki's side uh, on the 14th, which is a Mame Somnium, when you're in Mama's place, a lot of people talk to you about a rocket. Oh. And it's like, oh, do you, did you hear about that rocket that went off yesterday? Mm -hmm. Which you, know, you don't know what the fuck they're talking about. But of course, it's because the rocket that was shot at the top of Misaton the day before, where Ryuki got the shit punched out of him. Yeah. Oh man, I I guess that also explains Amame's like incredibly strange demeanor during this particular Somnium. Oh, she's extra fucked up. She's uh, extra fucked up. Um, in her Somnium, it, when you're f doing the find the difference places, there are two characters who are lying there covered in blood. It is Kizuna and it is Mizuki. Hmm. Who are the two people who were injured in the explosion ending? Yeah, that. That fucking makes sense. Holy shit. Um, and then there's this one. Let's see. Nirvana collected gen genocide uh, in her dream. Must be related to the Nirvana initiative. Does it mean the missing people who watch the video are being gathered and killed? Uh, uh, another very fun one that I, the reason I said, like, Ryan is cracked is Ryan was the person who started to notice, like, numbers and dates. Like, the big one being when Shoma tells you, like, oh, I gave this to my dad last year. Or, like, figuring out that Komeji's, like, suitcase. It was like, oh, he was here, like, the day before. It's like, no, you, that can't be right. Komeji was here hours ago. Another thing is when they, uh, the, you, I think you also noticed it, the Nirvana videos how in Mizuki's route, you get start being shown videos that you are certain you saw already in Ryuki's route, but mm -hmm. they're like, oh, this is brand new. That's because it is. Uh, I believe that it is the, in the past, you see the QR video, uh, Bets 490, and Nirvana Trial? And then I think Nirvana X is in the present time. Okay. I, I might be getting Nirvana Trial and Nirvana X mixed up, but that is why Ryuki... In both routes, you end up seeing both those videos on both sides and treated like they're brand new things. Because for the time, there is. There's also the people who go missing. Uh, Terror tells you at the end explosion route, no, people aren't going missing. And he's right. In the original Nirvana trial... Nirvana X is the present. Okay, thank you. Yeah, the original Nirvana trial wasn't anything. Nirvana X was the one that was leading people to the cathedral so they could get uh, hit by that box. So people, and if you pay attention, Ta I think it's Tama on both sides. I can't remember if there's also Iba dialogue. In the, in the dialogue in the past, Tama tells you how many reported people that week uh, went missing versus the average. Mm-hmm. She tells you that two times. One time she, she says it and it's a much normal number, just slightly above average. Another time it's a little more above average. The little more above average is the one in the present and then the other one is in the past. <laughs> huh. There's a lot of small details like that. Yeah, super, super small details. Uh, okay. They also do a very good job at hiding Oda, Iris, Kizuna, and characters with time skip designs from you in certain scenes. Yeah, that's what I was also thinking too. Is that like, um, some or or not even some, pretty much every single scene of Mizuki that's in the past, uh, I do not recall seeing any any character. No. Nope. Um. From the first Somnium game with the yes, time Same with Amame. Uh, most, pretty much all, yeah, no, all of the Amame scenes in the past, she's in her school uh, uniform. Every Amame scene in the present, she's in her sweater. 
Mm -hmm. There's only one exception, which I don't know if it was like a mistake or like just an oversight, which is in Gensomnium, you see her in her sweater. But every other scene except for that one, you see you only see her in her uniform in the past. Yeah. Interesting. Okay. Well, I am good. What the fuck? I am going to yeah. you keep go moving. ahead. Uh the I say uh keep going as much as you want or until there's a very obvious point. Uh, it was this and, the point that you were going to say that I should no. stop or uh, I think there is one more big scene after this that you should do because I want you to be able to leave this and like spend the week thinking about this timeline thing. So there will be a few more scenes that give you a little few more answers. Okay, then so I will do. You that. go ahead. Uh, have fun. Okay. <laughs> Bye. Bye. Holy shit, y'all uh okay so much to take in there is a lot of fucking information to take in right now but we're gonna we're gonna try our best we're gonna hit this shit up so let's do it yeah this is this is a lot anyway that's just my genius analysis you also see Shoma in every route, every time. That's true. Yeah, Shoma is, um, it, uh, his appearance doesn't change. So, I guess that makes sense. <laughs> it is all a wizard? That's awesome. Oh, but I know what you're gonna say. There's still tons of things that can't be explained, right? Especially who killed Uru and Tokiko? Right. Jin, Chikara, Komeji. It was Terror, Uru, who sliced these three in half. But then Uru was killed in the present, February 10th. Huh. Tokiko's body was found after that. So who killed Uru and Tokiko? Interesting, okay. Well, I'm sure this mess will be cleared up soon. Hey, who are we, by the way? <laughs> by Mizuki? Her friend? Her friend? And by you, Freya. Oh! <laughs> oh! <laughs> okay! So it really is just us. We're, we are the Freyer. So anyway, good luck with the rest of your investigation. Oh, <laughs> I'm God. <laughs> uh, okay. Wait, hold on. F and by I'm you, and by you, Freya. So who? Wait, Mama. What the fuck? I'll be cheering you on. What the fuck, Mama? Wait, why did her demeanor change so much? What the fuck? Oh. Uh huh. Who was I just talking to? Oh, so she must have been doing that, like, that little psychic link trick. Uh, that she she knows. This is the one. The one supernatural thing. That I will accept. And the fact that it's local localized entirely within the mama, the mama character, I'm okay with that. Mama is allowed to have uh to have a uh, supernatural just just as a treat. Maybe I've had a bit too much to drink. Um, so she can see Freyers, which it's is awfully us. cold tonight. Oh man. That's straight up why they made her a fortune teller. That's so fucking awesome. She can break the fourth wall because she's a fortune teller now. That's so fucking awesome. I love that shit. Oh, hi. So? Hey, about Kizzy. Are you sure she's okay? We, we So, we're just not gonna... God, it's so weird to see this character without the mask now. Um, also, 
uh, are we good to take chat off of emote only, or do you think emote only should should uh should stay on a little longer after this scene? Okay. Don't worry, I made sure she's fine. God, Karina's range, dude. Their range is crazy, dude. Kizuna went missing. Last night around 11 o'clock, Richie Chieda, her father, contacted me. Aiba and I started our search for Kizzy. After a while, I got a call on my phone. It was from her. She told me to meet her here at Iowan. So, that makes us sisters? We're not the same age, but we're like identical twins. I fucking knew. Okay. I'm pretty sure who we have been playing as in the past is a hundred percent masked woman. Hundred percent. I am like, I am at least 98%, 97% sure that we have been playing as masked woman. That explains her appearance, why she looks like older Mizuki, why she looks like older Mizuki in the past. Hey, Mario, you want one more fun thing? Sure. We have almost the same genes. I am, I am at least 97, 96% sure. The past Mizuki and present Mizuki have different voices. You notice it very clearly when you pay attention. So Karina is extra good at it. God damn. That's crazy. I'm a copy of you. Don't say it like that. Hmm. She voiced four different Mizuki inflections. Jesus Christ. Oh my God. But I'm your clone, right? Technically, yes. But our DNA isn't exactly the same. Just even, even the way that, that, like, masked woman is voiced, it's a completely fucking different voice. Like, it, like, like you can just hear it. Like, it's, it's insane. My genome was rearranged. Your DNA was modified on top of that, which is why you don't have the symptoms I have. Basically, you're an upgrade, the perfect version of me. Damn. This is why Mizuki couldn't exactly be born normally. She's a clone. She has no parents. Oh, man. Don't say it like that. The ultimate Mizuki. Huh. Sorry, hold on. I have to take this real quick. How should I call on a UFO? Um. Well, I guess my best bet is Impish. So, what's Impish? It's. Fuck! It didn't work. Oh, wait. Hold on. Evaluation time. I get new items in the shop. Yeah! <laughs> I'm an A1. I'm an A1 class, baby. These costumes were added to bonus. <gasps> the Q head. Oh, we have to take a sh we have to take a uh, a stop to the shop right after this, huh? Also, robot arm. <laughs> what if Mass Woman? Mizuki was Renju and Shoko's actual birth child. But they're so bad at parenting, they forgot how old she was supposed to be. I don't think so, but maybe. My older sister. Technically, she's the original I was based off of, but I don't want to think about it like that. She's more of my big sister by proxy. Wait, is there things to click on here? There's, there's things to click on, but I don't expect there to be any, any sort of extra dialogue. 
Does that explain why clocks are like fucked up for Ryuki a little bit? I'm like just I'm I'm just I'm just thinking. I want to make dinner, wrap it up. Oh, because his brother's watched. Oh. I forgot about that. I want to make dinners. Put me on your fucking phone. I don't know what to tell you. Put me on your phone. You got phone. All right. Why? First off, why were you hiding your identity? If I revealed myself to you, you would want to know everything. And one way or another, you'd find out. You'd find out that your genes were spliced. That your real parents aren't Renju and Choco. I wonder if that, if these names are, are not mentioned in the non-spoiler version of this game. I didn't want you to end up like me. I wanted you to live a normal life. As normal as possible anyway. Well, <laughs> well, that didn't exactly work out. <laughs> well, please look at I the Somnium Files 1. Yeah, and then she met Date, and... Get a normal job, a normal husband. Yeah, right. Get married, start a family, live happily ever after. A life like that. But if I showed up, I would ruin all that. That's what I thought, at least. I see. But why didn't you tell me seven years ago in November? God, it, it's so... Oh, Karina, you're so talented! <laughs> Fuck, man, that's so cool! It, like, it blows me away how different these two characters are. Holy fuck. <laughs> Seven! I was already well on my way to an abnormal life at that point. <laughs> yeah, that's true. <laughs> oh. Maybe that's true. It's like I told you. I want to know who did this to me. I know that Chikara was the mastermind, but I want solid proof. That's why I was investigating him and his institute. But then, out of the blue, he gets killed. That's why I started following the HB case. Ah, okay. Uh, I was raised at Iowa too? Yeah, the same as me. Oh. When I was six, you were born at Horadori Institute and sent here. They're literally six years apart. Oh my god. Oh my god. They're six years apart. We were playing as masked woman, dude. There's no fucking way. Oh man. We. Uh, there's gotta be. I'm. Oh, I'm waiting for the confirmation. I'm waiting for the confirmation, dude. I'm waiting for the confirmation. I'm, I am, I am 96, 95% sure. I'm guessing they thought it was too difficult to raise you at the Institute. I remember the day you arrived like it was yesterday. You were still a baby. But the moment I saw you, I got this feeling. I just realized. Iba has been away on a special mission on a secret mission as defined by boss she popped out of 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 uh of date's eyeball oh my god oh my god higurashi when you realize ha 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 ba 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 bi ha 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 ba 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 bi Oh my god. I started bawling my eyes out. Me. <laughs> Mizuki. Me. The people at the facility didn't know we were related. It is so oh man, can I tell you how fucking weird it is to see like Mizuki's head on a completely different like character model? It's it's fucking me up. It's like really fucking me up. Makes sense. They were told we were from two different places. But we are both named Mizuki, and we looked really similar. Oh my god! Oh my god! 
Oh my god! We were playing as Masuki, but the different Masuki! <laughs> what the fuck? How am I so right? They're literally twins, both in name, dude. Oh my god, so we were playing as a Mizuki, just not the one we are familiar with. Just not the one we're familiar with, dude. That's fucking crazy. I have to literally replay all of those scenes and see what the the vocal difference is between between masked woman Mizuki and Mizuki that we know Mizuki. Holy shit. So to make it easier, everyone started calling me Big Sis. The voices, the, these two have two different personalities too. Also, I just realized, Char, is that why you you start you started doing the uh, the BB, Big Sis, B I? Is that is that why? They called you, Mizuki. What happened after I arrived at Iowa? They took me to Horidori Institute every so often for examinations. Well, I say examinations. I mean human experiments. God, the fact that there is another... Another Mizuki that has had an even, like, more difficult life than the Mizuki that we know, like, it's fucking me up. I don't think you remember. They did terrible things. I Damn. remember getting shots with needles as big as boba straws. Jesus. My time with Horidori Institute ended when I was nine and you were three. It shut down and we were finally free. That's about the time you were adopted by the Okiura family. Oh. But me? Well, I told you about me, right? You were blind in one eye, and had a heart condition. Blind in one eye. So... I guess since we were playing as a different Mizuki, that Mizuki has been at Abyss since six years ago, just after the fucking, uh... Just after, um... All the shit that happened with uh with Date. Like a couple months after Date. So what the fuck? Also, bye myth! I hope you have a wonderful rest of your night. So everything about so so okay, so here's here's my thing. I I cause I really want to know what the fuck happened with Date. I guess the dynamic between this Mizuki and, and Date's Mizuki is so different. It's so different. I'm like trying to think of the time where like um, Date rescued uh, Big Sis Mizuki. And, and trying to think of how Mizuki, or should I say, I guess I should just say Big Sis. Um how she reacted to seeing Date. So Date literally knew that there was two fucking Mizukis while Mizuki was none the wiser six years ago. Man, I'm fucked up. I am like, this is like fucking me up. Literally all of these fucking revelations has got my fucking, my, my brain mouse wheel like spinning like there's nobody, nobody's business. He says to her, you look so similar and she's pretty normal. Then it cuts to a screen that says, I gave Date the basic information. Really? Oh man, I think I will have to do a re replay of this game just in my own time. Holy shit. Right. So it was hard to find a family who would take me. Oh my god, man. Ultimately, it was Mr. Chieda, the chairman. So when you were nine, you were adopted by... The Chiedas. Yeah. That's why she's called Big Sis. I spent the next six years there. Six! Up until I was 15. I lived under the same roof as Kizuna. I see. 
So Kizuna also knew that there was just a Mizuki that looked exactly the same as another Mizuki. And she kept that from us? Like, what What the fuck? That's why she called me Big Sis. Yeah. You said something about an eccentric woman? Yeah. I was adopted by her. Do you mean... Tokiko? Shizue Kurenoshi. Oh. Boss. Oh. Oh, man. So that's why... Yeah, remember she had a daughter. So this entire time, Boss's daughter was a Mizuki. Oh, man. Which is why my name is Mizuki Kuranushi now. What the fuck? You think that sounds kind of lame, huh? Better than Mizuki Date, in my opinion. <laughs> no, it's not that. <laughs> Mizuki's... Suki is, is thinking that right now. <laughs> if I know this character, and I think I know this character after, I don't know, 14 weeks, uh, I think this Mizuki is thinking, God, that is such a cooler last name, the Mizuki Date. What the fuck? <laughs> you know how we're stronger than everybody else? Maybe she thought I'd come in handy. Probably, yeah. Can you check boss's profile in the present files? Sure. Let's see. Uh, okay. Where are you, boss? Here you are. Oh, come on! Oh, come on! Yet literally not wrong, I guess. Oh, come on! fucking this fucking guy dude this fucking guy uchikoshi literally right but you know so she wanted to make you work for her i don't know if that's the truth but that's what she told me i guess so she had to deal with two mizukis running around Sounds like a nightmare. Or awesome. Boss taught me how to fight. After she adopted me, she trained me hard every day. Oh, man. One Mizuki taught by Date and one Mizuki taught by Boss. Interesting. Six years ago, when I was 18, I was hired as a top secret member of Abyss. I fucking knew it. Boss wanted someone who she could rely on. Someone who would never betray her. It just so happens that our Mizuki, it just so happens that our Mizuki had the exact same hairstyle as the 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 eighteen year old Mizuki of last last two years or sorry six years ago. Rosalia Lopez is hornier than Mizuki Date. All the horny jokes are her. Oh man! Oh my God! You're so right, dude. Be it was because of Boss. It wasn't because of Date. Oh, man. She trusted me to handle the most sensitive situations. Basically, I'm like a ninja. Well, a kunoichi. Man, you can't just say that. <laughs> that is, like, not cool to say. Basically, I'm like a ninja. <laughs> you are not... I mean, you're cool, but, like... Yeah, me rolling up in my car. Nerd! <laughs> Which is why my existence at Abyss had been hidden. The only people who know are Boss, Pewter, and Ryuki. Oh. Ryuki knew? Why, why not? Wait, not Date? Ryuki? Why? Because it... It sounds like her last name. Yeah, but I mean, I, don't I know. wonder. Wait, what? Wait, huh? Yeah, Ryuki, why? 
Only people who know are Boss, Pewter, and Ryuki. I guess, I mean, yeah, why not, why not Date? Why, Date didn't know? I guess Date eventually figured it out during that, that other, um, the, uh, yeah, not until they met. That's when, that's when they figured it out, huh? I asked her about what happened back then. She told me the details of what happened on the 12th and the 14th. Twelfth. Hmm. Oh man. Three listed are just the ones that knew uh, the details slash were around her. Since you approach Ryuki as her in her scenes, yeah. She literally just so happened to have the exact same uniform, wearing the exact same hairstyle, <laughs> like, with the exact same fucking weapon. It's, you know, it's totally fine. Don't think about it too much, okay? The 14th. You know, the school? Yeah, but then, you know, because she had the exact same hair... Um, you know, and, and it's, it's totally fine. Let's not, let's not forget that. Cause, cause Armazuki just wore the exact same hair just cause, you know, why not? Yeah. And then that's when she got electrocuted. Boss kind of both was raising them at those times. And so she said, can you make your hair pigtails? That's abyss code. Ooh, sorry. Sorry I uh I pointed out a flaw in this flawless game. <laughs> Cause when I was in high school, I definitely wore the exact same uniform as everyone else, so. Are you being mean to me? Listen! All I'm gonna say is that I I love this game, but it's not flawless. It is just really, really stupid sometimes. <laughs> That's what uniform means? I literally, I'm telling you, when I was in high school, I wore my uniform in completely different ways every day. I'm just saying, you don't always have to wear uh, a, a tie. It's the same uniform as Iris and uh, Mame and Kizuna. Could be a culture thing. It's probably a culture thing. I didn't always tuck in my shirt into my pants. That's all I'm saying. What you have seen and heard cannot be shared with anyone. If you do. Yeah, in Japan it is more strict. That's true. I will kill her. I have an abundant amount of money. Even if I were to die, the assassins I've hired would still find her. I see. That's why you didn't talk about what happened six years ago. But I think it's okay to start talking now. Why? I was able to freeze all of Terror's hidden accounts. Nice. We don't need to worry about any assassins anymore. Also, you guys are mad at me. Why are you mad at me? Because I pointed out a flaw? Come on. I bet you don't remember anything from February six years ago, do you? I'm not mad. Tell the people that are throwing shit at me. I think only Char is mad. You're assuming again? It's, they're, you guys are literally throwing shit at me. Stop throwing shit at me. You're, you're forgetting the first rule. You guys are fucked up. I do not. My body was destroyed in the explosion at the cathedral. Oh, that is why Iba hasn't made any mention about six years ago. I forgot about that. That she forgot literally all of the memories within that time period. The Abyss communication network was also offline. Right. So there was no backup taken. How, how convenient. <laughs> By the way, I'm curious. Why were we given the same name? I don't know. Maybe they didn't really care about the name. Cause it's funny. But wouldn't that make it harder to tell us apart at the Institute? Ah, uh, 
I don't think they had any trouble. We had code names at Horidori Institute. I was Mouse, and you were Rabbit. Oh. Oh. The rabbit in the Somnium. The rabbit in the Somnium, dude. What the fuck? And you remember what they called us at Iowan, right? You were Big Sis, and I was Mizuki. Yeah. Is that what I called you? No. You were still little. You couldn't talk much. You just called me Bibi. Ah, there it is! I get yeah, I guess that explains that. That I mean literally it like it makes sense, BB. But yeah, I was I was also correct about it being um about it being part of Big Sis. That totally that totally makes sense. It's Nene in, in Japanese? Aw. BB. Yeah. BB, huh? Baby! Oh, anyway, that's so we've cute. We've spent enough time here. We shouldn't be wasting time like this. Good point. There's still tons we don't know about the HB case. Follow me. I want to show you something. Oh? Huh? What oh. is it? Oh. Um, one of my favorite things about Masked Woman so far, um, is that she does, uh, these head tilts <laughs> that I think is really, really good. Um, very, very, very cat-coated or dog-coated or basically any animal, really. Uh, I love, I just love that. It's very, very good. I think in retrospect, it makes a lot of sense that the people around them uh, that didn't know about the cloning didn't think they were related because people forget how different kids look with six years apart. Oh, no. It's nothing. Interesting. Let's go, BB. BB! Aww. Which I think is also the reason stated by the devs as to why Kizzy, Iris, and other people couldn't uh, put it together because... Mizuki is a common name. Interesting. Oh, hi, guys. Did you enjoy the MGS2 bullshit? I would say MGS2 is less bullshit than this. This is this is on par Uchi Koshi bullshit. <laughs> I would say. I I would say. I would say. Um MGS2 is supposed to be a a, a deconstruction of like video games. Uh this is this is yeah, it's 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 Uchikoshi bullshit, but it is so fucking incredibly entertaining bullshit. <laughs> I what is what the fuck is up with Gen Date? It's a suit. Hey guys, come on! We still haven't fucking moved the body. Or right, I guess this is a different timeline. Never mind. <laughs> we're, just, we're just not gonna fucking say anything, huh? Ugh, what the fuck?
It's really, really, really good. Holy shit, man. <laughs> oh, fuck. Dude, I love this game. I fucking love this game. Yeah, I, she really she really put a little emphasis on that fuck. Made it a, gave it a little Italian flair, if you know what I'm saying. <laughs> what the fuck? Oh. <laughs> this is information overload. My brains are gonna flow out of my ears. Jeez, just relax. I can't just relax. What is this corpse doing here? D dude, the whooshing, the whooshing. And why are Kizzy and Leon here? Oh, and most importantly. Who the hell is this? Huh? What? Isn't it obvious? <laughs> Dude, this is the fucking best best game ever. You you have the you have all these big dramatic reveals in the alternate paths and in the regular path Mizuki just learns all this shit at once. That's so funny. <laughs> Wait, you're that stupid porno mag collecting old man. No. No. Yes. <laughs> Dante really said, nah, that ain't, that ain't me. <laughs> no, that, no, that's not, what are you talking about? <laughs> Wait, no, 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 that ain't, that ain't me. Why are you dressed like that? Where is Guinea? What are you doing here? And one last thing. Where have you been the past six years? Why didn't you try to contact me? Oh, it's a long story, Mizuki. We, uh, we, we talked about it in the other timeline, but I mean, we got it. Listen, we'll, we'll review the tapes. I know, Mizuki, Mizuki cares about Date, dude. This fucking piece of shit. I'm sorry, Mizuki. Yeah, Karina going off. <laughs> he's not he's not gonna get out of the he's not gonna get out of the suit. He's not gonna get out of the suit, huh? Okay. I think I kind of get it. He's, he's just gonna skip some. <laughs> I can't stand your ass, bro. Oh my god. It's so fucking funny. It's comfy. He decidedly said that it was super uncomfortable. <laughs> Why is he still in the suit? Oh my god, fuck. That's so fucking funny. Oh my god. I love this fucking game so much. You can stop here anytime if you want. Yes. As soon as the uh, the prompt comes up, we're, we're probably going to... Hit the old save button and then and then check to see if there is any art for tonight. Holy fuck. Six years ago, Date lost his memory when the ceiling collapsed. <clears throat> then he got captured by terror, but managed to escape. And he's been wandering the earth for the past six years. God, you really gotta say it like that, huh? Five days ago, on the 10th, he heard the news about Jin's body being found. You can actually see on her model that her leg wound is missing. Also, Masked Woman uh, decking Ryuki makes a lot more sense now. Oh my god, yeah, you're totally right. It, it totally makes sense now. Because uh, Masked Woman was uh, was the one that got shocked. Oh, man. BB's a lot meaner than Mizuki. I, yeah, I guess you're right. That's, that's so funny. There's one model difference, which is Mizuki's leg wound. Oh and finally got his memory back. That's right. God. This fucking guy. His brain, any anytime you like look into his brain, it's the it's the milk spilling fucking footage. All right, there we go. My voice reaches Date's brain right now. That's because there is a reception device in his left eye socket. You can mute me by turning it off. That's a real hassle, so it's still on. Uh, this is the same for Mizuki uh, Kuranushi. Uh, she hears my voice too. Hmm. 
Mizuki Kuranushi is so long. I'll just call her BB. Oh, <laughs> I love, I love the, I love that, that they're just gonna call her BB. That's so cute. It's such a cute name. Um, okay. Hold on. Uh, pickled. Fuck. I think we fucked up. I think we fucked up. Oh well. All right. Let's save the game. And first and foremost, before we dip out of the uh, out of the game, we got some we got some spending to do. <laughs> Dude, the Q head. Hurry and check it out. Come I'm on. so happy. And the robot arm. The Q head. Yeah, we're not gonna spoil ZTD. Um, in here, please, please don't spoil ZTD. But the Q head is really, really, really good. Um. Also, do we have do we have any more stuff here? Uh, no, that's it. Okay, interesting. I'm almost done with ZTD, so I appreciate it. Yes. Well, I understand that also, like, some people are, are still going through it, but also I haven't uploaded the last VOD. So. The SAT, the special assault team. Okay. Um, <clears throat> real quick, we gotta, we gotta head over to, to Iba's room. <clears throat> Bored, perhaps? Nah, I'm good. Ooh. Hmm. Okay, hold on. Um. I am smart, but this is idiotic. No. -uh. This looks like a shirt you'd buy from MPK's <clears throat> gift shop. Looks better than on Mizuki. Yay! Yay! Fancy clothing, my favorite. <laughs> Oh, I'm a going yay. Welcome home, Sea King. How about a pick together? Uh, I kind of like dark it. mode Iva still. That one's still pretty good to me. Uh, oh man. Let's see what well, she says about K and her. Q. It's a perfect head for memory loss. Okay. Makes me want to make life risking decisions. I, it's I love, wait, hold on. Makes me want to make life risking decisions. Can we can we inspect closer? No. Wait. Oh. I I want to determine to see if this is the same uh model that they used. Wait. Hold on. <laughs> I think Uchikoshi misses zero skate. You might be right. <clears throat> yeah, I'm pretty sure this is the the same model that they used for, um, for Q. That's actually, uh, that's actually kind of neat. It's it like, I mean, if they have the model, yeah, uh, probably up res, but I, I would argue that it's not even that up res. Like I can, I can definitely still see the, um, I can still see the, uh, what do you call it? Like the polygons compared to the last game. Um, no, that's, that's actually really cool, though. <clears throat> this mask makes me want to escape with it. It's a perfect head for memory loss. I also wonder, let's see. Let's see, hold on. Is this the same K? Hmm. <clears throat> this one, it looks like they upscaled the, uh... I feel like they upscaled the the model for this one. In my opinion. I think they upscaled the uh the textures so that it's a little bit closer to to the uh, texture quality of this game. Yeah, the the these details look so flat so it's definitely not remade. I I think yeah. I think the only thing is that they they uh upres the um the texture is probably like I want to say like AI upscaled it, um, 
But in terms of like the model, it definitely looks pretty similar to it. It's very, very interesting. I think it's very, very cool. If it looks good on Tama. Uh, and then what do we have for this one? Oh yeah, we have uh, Burning Hand. Uh, hot. Uh, or not? This hand is a hassle. <laughs> is this? I don't. I don't know. <laughs> I don't know if this is a particular reference to anything, but having the hands swapped out for robot hands is very, very, very funny. It's just like in that one speed mail. Yeah, that's true. It's a weird feeling to be on a shoulder. Why is Tama a humanoid shape? You're asking too many questions, Iba. All right, that's, that's the look. Look at the look. That's pretty good. Wait, hold on. This is a tough job, huh? But even Date can do it. Think of it this way. Perhaps you need to be that stupid in order to pull it off. True. Wait, did you just call us stupid? Huh. Why they give the eyeball titties? Don't worry about it. I know, they're so mean to Date, which is awesome. He deserves to be uh, made fun of, so. In this game, he deserves to be made fun of. It's awesome. My favorite thing is listening uh, to the Mizuki Aiba room lines and guessing which are Date uh, and which are uh, Kuranushi by the voice. Yeah, that one definitely, it definitely felt like um, Kuranushi Mizuki. Or I should just say, I should just say BB, now that I know. Now that I know. Anyways. Respect! Um, I'm gonna, I'm gonna close my laptop now. Say goodbye to laptop. Um. Yeah, I know a few things. I know a few things now. Can you believe it? That next week is the finale. Can you can you believe that next week is the fucking finale for all of this? 15 weeks. 15 fucking weeks we have been playing this game. And and uh Uchikoshi Uchikoshi Sunday has been going on for even longer than that. I, I am, I'm going to be honest with you. I'm going to be a little, I'm going to be really, really sad. Not even just a little sad. I'm going to be really, really sad that it's all over. But we will be starting a new journey when, um, when Uchikoshi Sunday is, is all wrapped up. It's the end until I3 and the Ever series. Uh, I will be playing those. I will be playing those, so I'm uh, extremely, extremely excited for that. Very, very, very excited. Um, with that being said, I'm gonna see if there's any art for tonight. I do not see any, um, any art in the Discord, or sorry, not in the Discord, on Twitter. Um, and in the meantime, I'm gonna play some music. When you find Chikara's second half and talk to Ryuki, he says it's just like six years ago, which you assume is Chikara's other half. But with the real timeline, you uh, you realize he means his brother. He's comparing uh, the HB victims uh, to him, to his brother's death. Interesting. Very, very, very interesting. Um. Okay, hold on. Wow, there is, there is a very, very, uh, <laughs> there is some really, really wonderful art in the Discord, um, which by the way, um, if you would like to submit any of the, uh, the Mar art pieces in the Discord on Twitter, um, then, then please, by all means, make sure you use the hashtag MarArt. Um, as you, again, may already know, 
Um, as you may or may not know, uh, the Marart hashtag is in demand. Um, so I just want to make sure that, you know, the, uh, what do you call it? That people know that the hashtag is, uh, is my hashtag. So if you want to, if you want to submit that on, on Twitter, I would, uh, very, very much appreciate it. Um, oh, sorry. I have to take this. Um, our first piece of art is from Saucy. Because as I started drawing this as a hypothetical, then Mar actually did it. Which is, oh my god, man. Oh my fucking god. This is so, so good. Hold on. <laughs> this is so good. It must be hard. If you ever need someone, I'll be there. Thanks, Mizuki. Oh my god, why did it zoom in so close? My dad, he... Beep, 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 beep. Uh, hang on, I gotta take this real quick. Uh, my dad, when my dad died, he... Shoma, you're smart, right? Uh, okay, well, if you were a brave imp... Uh, what, what do you think of mermaids? <laughs> Oh my god, fuck. That is... That is so good. That is so fucking good. <laughs> Thank you, Sauce. Thank you, Sauce, for this wonderful, wonderful art. I I genuinely love this so much. I love this. This makes me so fucking happy. <laughs> good night, Perp! Good night! Um... Thank you for, for dropping by today. I, I really appreciate it. Thank you. Thank you. Um, and thank you, uh, Sauce. Sauce, uh, DLX, or Saucy in my Discord. Thank you for, for submitting this. I really appreciate it. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Um, next one is from Pure Pari, uh, who says, Well, well, well. If it isn't the blowjob, brother. <laughs> oh my god, man. Holy shit, dude. That is so good. That is so incredibly fucking good. I uh, it's the blowjob brothers of legend. Uh I, I love this. I love this so much. Also, I really, really, really like the way you drew Date. I really, really, really like it. There's something about Pure Pari's style that like, it just, it just like, it, it, it snaps into place for, for Date. I really, really, really like it. Uh, thank you. Thank you very, very, very much for this. I, I adore this. I adore this. Super, super, super good. Cock comrades. Cock comrades. Oh man. Holy fuck, dude. That is that is just really 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 good. Uh thank you. Thank you very very much. I really appreciate it. And we got one last one in the Discord from Punny Artist who says I'm rushing so hard, but here's what I finished so far. Uh fun little designs. Hee hee. Oh my god, look at this. Look at this. I love this. I fucking love this. This is so fucking cool. This is so cool. Also, the uh the green and the red? Very, very, very interesting. Yeah, the Marley Mar hybrid. Marley being in the shape of, of Markatoto as the eyeball, which is like really really creative i i genuinely love this so much uh this is fucking fantastic this is so good uh thank you once again um that is from punny artist uh core jester punny in the uh in the twitch chat the greens is just my clip layer color so it sticks out but it does contrast nice oh Wait, you use greens for clip layer color? Oh. I 
I am, as a person who is still trying to learn how to draw, that's very, very interesting. I, I wonder how you, like, how you do that. So you notice when you miss a spot. Green as a base for the color. That's really, really interesting. I'm like, actually, hmm. I'm like thinking about it. I'm, I'm thinking. That is actually really, really cool. Uh, depends on the main color. See, my my technique was to just make the background like you know how like anytime you make a a like a clip, uh, like a clip file, you just turn the background into like a green color. Just realize how much more art I can send you now that my DMs are about to get it. That's awesome. I'm I'm excited. I'm excited for all the art that I had missed throughout the years of, uh, or I guess the year of missing out on this game. But also I'm really looking forward to reading that Ryuki zine. Like seriously, I'm, I'm really, really, really excited. Um, thank you once again, punny artist, Core Jester Punny in, in, the, uh, in the Twitch chat. You should be able to now. I don't know. Do you think? Do you think there might be some some spoilers that I might that I might hit? I don't know. I don't know. Uh, but also, I think waiting might be good. I think waiting might be good because there's still a bunch of questions that I have, uh, especially concerning Ryuki. I I am uh I'm really 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 interested to see um what's going on with Ryuki and like how things progress with that character. So yeah, yeah, I still, I still have, I still have a lot. There's still more mysteries um, left to be solved, especially with Ryuki, especially with Ryuki. So I'm, I'm really, really, really excited. Um, okay. I want to do a quick refresh here. Just, just in case. Um, and yeah, I think that's pretty much it. Uh, my art is like implications. <laughs> I worked on the zine. Oh, perfect. That's awesome. Um, in my head, I'm trying to figure out what big answers we have about Ryuki and I'm coming up empty. Oh, okay. So we'll see, we'll see. I think, again, I'm gonna leave all of the spoiler, like art stuff to next week. Um, you know, concerning Ryuki Zine and like all the stuff. Like, we'll 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 talk. We'll talk, chat. Chat, we got a lot of talking to do. <laughs> I'm really, really, really excited. So next week, the actual finale, a 15-week series. Some would say it went on a little too long, but honestly. I've been having such a great fucking time with this game. And I think I think the way that we divvied up uh, where it's a little bit more, uh, how can I say it? It's a little bit more uh, digestible in terms of, of, uh, of, of consuming this particular series. It warrants a very, very long play time. And I'm, and I'm glad that I, that I did it. Although, as you may have noticed, my memory is pretty bad. So, so divvying it up into 15 weeks is a little, uh, a little fucked up in terms of my own memories. Cause I'm, I'm not very good at remembering stuff. It's something that I've dealt with for a very long time. It runs in my family. It's a hundred percent a, a, uh, a, uh, a Katoto family thing, unfortunately, but you know, it is what it is. And I'll probably do a run through of the game just on my own um, at some point, whenever, you know, just doing my own thing. <laughs> um, but regardless of that fact, I think it is about time we, uh, we end things off for uh, tonight. And this game warrants a repeated playthrough anyway. I think what I'll what I'll do too. Very, very, very exciting, because now that that Joseph Anderson has done his playthrough, 
I'll probably watch all of that when I'm done. And that will kind of warrant my second playthrough. Like, ooh, man. I'm really, really, really excited to uh, to see Joseph Anderson's playthrough. That's that's gonna be a real, a real fun time. Uh, trying to get through that and and seeing all the all the things that that he picks up on because he's really, really good at picking up stuff uh, in terms of like predictions and and like obviously like he's also very picky when it comes to like story beats. So I'm really interested to see what what he thinks about uh, this story. I should, yeah, I should watch Ryan's playthrough. God, there's, there's a lot going on. There's a lot of, a lot of things that I need to watch. Um, so we'll see, we'll see what happens. Uh, with that being said, I'm gonna end things off for tonight. I am, um, yeah, he got, he, I'm sure Ryan's a genius, right? The thing is that Ryan's a, a certified uh, fucking genius. Um, <laughs> Ryan watches Mar, Mar watches Jackson's, Jackson watches Ryan's, okay. <laughs> There's some people who you wanna see react to the twist, but they just predict it, yeah. Um, it's cool. It's cool though, it's, you know, uh, I don't mind not knowing what the twist was from from the the beginning. It's cool to to um, it's cool to speculate. It's cool to speculate. Um, but not knowing what the twist is, it it kind of makes it uh, it kind of makes it a lot more fun. Even though sometimes I feel a stupid. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? I feel a little stupid sometimes, but you know I'm glad that I I I tried. I, I really was trying to, to see what the major twist was, and uh, we didn't get it, but I got some other stuff. I got some other stuff. The fact that I managed to, to, to get that past Mizuki was uh, BB. I'm very, very happy about that, too. I am very, very happy about that. Um, and they're just both named Mizuki, which I guess is just super convenient. Some people predicted the Mizuki clone plot twist with the masked woman based on the skin color of her exposed feet on the promotional render before the game even released. God, that's, that is some fucking wild shit. That's some wild shit right there. Um, I, I don't want to hear this shit. I don't want to hear that. I don't want to hear that. I want to hear that. Um, with that being said, uh, follow me if you're still on Twitter. Follow me on Twitter, twitter.com slash Markatoto. Uh, if you're not on Twitter, follow me on Tumblr, because I post pretty often on there now. Uh, join the Discord server if you haven't already. Uh, tomorrow will be the return of Movie Night, um, which means that we are going to be watching The Secret of Kells, which I'm really, really, really excited about. I'm super, super stoked. I've never, I've never seen the secret of Kells ever. I've never seen it before. Uh, it's really, really, really good. Um, or at least that's what people have told me. Uh, <laughs> we're so back. Um, so secret of Kells that is coming up tomorrow for movie night, uh, starting at 10 30 PM EST. Um, as well as I'm going to be on a uh, particular stream tomorrow, uh, which I don't think has been announced just yet. Um, but I will, uh, I mean, you guys will know what it is. I don't think it's been announced just yet, but we'll, you guys will know what's, what's going to be happening tomorrow. So, um, that'll be fun. That'll be a good time. And I'm very, very, very excited for that stream tomorrow. It's not going to be on this stream, but we will be on uh, another stream. Um, should be good. Should be good. Um, I'm trying to think what else. Follow my art Tumblr, art.markatoto.com if you want to see art specifically, I guess. But, um, other than that, how about, uh, you know, awesome enough, Ryan is still streaming. He is streaming Sonic Adventure 2. Um, which is a, a great video game. Uh, and I think the raid phrase is going to be Kaname Date, the intrusive thought. 
I was gonna say just the intrusive thought, but because, um, because Ryan is still streaming, um, Ryan will know what this means. Ryan will know what this means. Um, holy fuck, man. I, I am excited. And I am also very, very, very sad that tomorrow, or tomorrow, that next week will be the end of, uh, of, of Uchi Koshi Sunday. Thank you all so much for joining me on this journey. Uh, thank you to everyone who, uh, who resubscribed tonight. That is, uh, insanely fucking generous. Thank you to everyone who, who tipped, uh, including the one very, very, very generous donator. Um, you are all wonderful, even though we love to argue so, so, so much. I'm sorry I'm so argumentative. I, I, okay. Genuinely, I feel bad for being so argumentative about bullshit that actually doesn't fucking matter. It, it might be a little exhausting, I'm sure, for some folks. But just know that uh, it comes from a place of love and appreciation. Let's start a podcast, the arguing podcast. Um, but but seriously, uh, you guys mean a lot. Oh, it's time to go. Fuck. Bye.